think that's it. There he is. <laughs> you guys ready? Let's pull it. Ready? One, two, three. Oh. Hey! And JB's on there! 600! 600! Yes! Yay! Yes. Yes. 600 mile sign, that would be just- So here we are, back with the real supercharger. Okay, we are on the test track. They'd recommend uh, putting your head on the headrest. Okay. <laughs> there he's ready. Nope. Yep. Oh. <laughs> oh, there it goes. Oh. oh, that never gets old either. We have the post putting production cars here. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, you watch it. But why is he gonna throw it? I don't know, but we gotta watch it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I'll see this sledgehammer. What? Woo! Oh my god. Well, maybe that was a little too hard. Yeah. I'm Eric, otherwise known as Derek, here in Shanghai at Gigafactory 3. Ballapalooza. It's like tricks. Generic cornflakes. Whoa! <laughs> it's raining cornflakes! Oh. This is trippy. Look, there's nothing here. Hello once again, I am David here with Eric. Together we are Derek, and we are here to talk about all that's new in the world of Tesla. And once we go over the Tesla news, we'll open up to your questions and answers and hopefully uh, uh, just spend some time with you again, once again. Welcome everybody, hopefully you all had a really good week. Um, it is nice to be back. We, oh, dog cam. <laughs> they are, we are all ready, yes. <laughs> uh, it is nice to be back. We had our first week back from vacation and they all suck. Yeah, um, <laughs> busy work Busy work week, I think, for both of us. A very hectic work week. Um, but hopefully you guys enjoyed the first of the two Iceland vlogs. We have decided uh, there's originally going to be a third one, but it will actually be a four Splitting it up a little. Series. Just because there was a lot that happened the last day we were there. So Yes. Um, and Frank, I, I, I clap for you. Um, real quick, want to give Frank... A great comment shout out for saying, Will someone at Tesla please give these fine gentlemen a refresh yes. model S? Not that Thank you, Frank. <laughs> not, that, not that we're counting Frank, but it's been 320 days since we placed the order for the Plaid Model S. Definitely not counting. Not counting. Um, Anders uh, said, 
good night from Stockholm. Oh, good Andrews, night. hello Thank again. you for uh, hanging out with us for a few minutes. Uh, but anyway, so we're going to get right into the news, and then, yeah, we'll just open it up for questions, comments, concerns, and kind of talk all things Tesla. But first thing first, as you saw in the title of the thumbnail, Cybertruck is silently, very quietly, delayed until 2022. Now, Tesla didn't send anything out. They didn't say anything, but I'm trying to pull it up real quick. On Tesla's website, they have actually said deliveries will start in 2022 now of that Cybertruck. So <clears throat> kind of a bummer, but I know pretty much every live stream, everyone wants a Cybertruck update. And now this is not the update I wanted to give. Unfortunately, this is where we are at. So here on their order screen, if you look um, try motor, you will be able to configure your, uh, you'll be able to complete your configuration as production nears in 2022. Um, now they didn't say in early, mid or late. So that's, that's a little different than normal. Same with dual motor and single motor. They all now say 2022. And we're not like a hundred percent surprised on this too, because uh, definitely not. It's been a weird, you know, year and a half since the Cybertruck was announced back there at the end of 2019. There's a lot of things that have happened which have slowed things down. Exactly. the The whole pandemic uh, that's affected pretty much every industry uh, throughout the world. There's been a huge, huge, huge shortage in uh, chips. Anything that goes into any kind of computer. It's hard to get if you are following this and you build your own computers or anything. RTX, the new line of graphics cards are super hard to get. Um, and even like components with those already built in, super hard to get. It's, it's just a whole supply chain issue. And so I'm really not surprised this was pushed to 2022. I would have expected Tesla to maybe say something, but I mean, I guess since they really haven't, started doing anything like delivery wise it's not a huge surprise yeah and we haven't even um, seen like yeah. any new like leaks on no. new specs or anything cyber truck's been pretty quiet and you know and while other manufacturers have been talking about their ev trucks that are going to be coming out which are still like not to, not out yet so they're experiencing delays as well like at rivian and other manufacturers but no. i think that also gives tesla a little more time to maybe add a few more extras that weren't uh, necessarily uh, that unveiling at the end of 2019. You bet. And I think a big thing is we've seen and heard that Ford has like 60 to 70,000 pre-built trucks but, on lots. Yeah, not EVs, but not just EVs, regular like f Just regular yeah. trucks stuck on lots waiting for computer parts. Um, so it, the whole supply chain is messed up. So I'm really not surprised. But there was some good news about Cybertruck that the actual steel supplier that Tesla has entered into an agreement with they're roughly like 160 miles away from Giga Austin. They are making great progress on their new facility and should start having production up in late 2021. So hopefully all things will align and early 2022, we'll start seeing some stuff. Uh, real quick, uh, Brock, thank you for the $2 super chat. Really appreciate that. He said hello. Hey, Brock. Thank you very much. Thank you, Brock. Hopefully you are having a good evening. Um, but yeah, so it kind of a bummer, but at the same point, kind of expected, especially with how the new S and X rollout has been. It's all been delayed due to different events going on in the world. Yeah. Uh, but on a bright side, we will be doing a special live stream coming up on August 19th. That is a Thursday. I believe it will be at 6 PM mountain time, 5 PM California time for Tesla AI day. Super excited for this. Uh, I haven't heard officially that they'll be live streaming, but I would assume so. So we'll I, be doing like. I a would think so, yeah. And party. as we've as we've done in the past with like Investor Day and Battery Day, we're planning on uh, doing the live stream. We'll probably get online maybe a little bit before the event, listen in on it, try to keep quiet during the, that uh, event, and then we'll talk about it afterwards just to go over some of the important points. Exactly. Um, so here, these are like some of the actual invites that were sent out to people. We have not gotten one, but um, to be honest with how things are going, I'm not super concerned. But also, the last event we did, we were actually here and we just did like a viewing party. I think that was almost more interactive than if we were just there. Yeah, because it's a different, like, live streaming on your phone and everything at an event, 
it's always kind of hit and miss. Yeah, we've had sometimes where the, the, the Wi-Fi or cellular just barely worked, and so it wasn't that great. So luckily Tesla's upped it, and their, their presentations themselves are actually better, because there's been times in the past where their live stream wasn't you know, up to bar. Exactly. So, uh, they've done better in the, the last few events, so hopefully they can stream theirs properly, and we'll be able to just uh, discuss that with you guys. Exactly. So definitely looking forward to some Tesla AI news. And then, so we, we can kind of talk about some Model S Plaid stuff a little bit. Uh, there's recently in the news, this Model S Plaid did a quarter mile in 9.08 seconds, which is mind boggling. Uh, we actually have a friend here in Colorado who took his to the track recently, and I think his best run was like a 9.48, uh, which is still... Very good, yeah. Very quick. But this 908 has me wondering if they gutted it at all. It said that they had a trap speed of 154.10, which is mm -hmm. absolutely ridiculous, too. Trap speed of, I believe, the like Model S P100 DL. I think that was only like 120 or maybe 130. And is the trap speed, is that's when they, at, at the quarter mile mark? Yeah, that's like your fastest speed, basically. Oh, okay. Um, just for those. Yeah, yo, but that's just crazy fast. So really excited to eventually get our hands on a new Model S Plaid and be able to check it out. Still, yeah, um, it's still crossing our fingers, of, oh, you know, waiting so, for delivery. But uh, yeah. peak time racing, thank you. Um, they said they did strip it out for uh -huh. the nine point oh. So that's how they were able to save like a. Um, a I'd be third curious of a did, of that. Uh, peak. Time racing. Was there anything? Because I didn't find anything. All the articles I said said other details of the race, race remain unknown. Um, how much savings did they get out of that thing? Did they say that anywhere? Because I'm curious to know. Was it just a couple hundred pounds? Because that's that's probably easily doable if you remove the interior, the rear seats, the other seat. Um, 3220 video channel has a full video on that car and those runs. Okay, sweet. I will definitely check that out afterwards. I'm very interested to see what they did to get those times. Um, so but we still, will definitely have to check that but out. But still, it's great to see, though. Like you said, our friend was able to get almost the same speed with a totally stock yeah. uh, Plaid S. Yeah. And, I mean, to be honest, even at 9.4 or 9.2 as Jay Leno did it, those are all crazy fast times for a sedan that can hold five people, not obviously while doing that, but be a daily driver and be comfortable. Yep. And that price point too. God, I love the price point. Um, so let's see, uh, some other comments that just came in. Uh, it had no seats besides the drivers and was driven by a driver weighing 110 pounds. Well, <laughs> um, yeah. I guess I gotta go on a budget. Mm -hmm. or, uh, I, I guess Diet, I need to yeah. lose some weight here. Um, and then let's see, they did put on racing tires. Eh, that's easy. Um, but yeah, I did see the YouTube video, but they didn't show anything inside. But yeah, I guess I gotta check out my weight because I am not 110 pounds, but interesting to know. Um, but yeah, it was kind of cool. Uh, I think we're gonna see a lot out of plaid. Well, Kit's even more than 110 pounds. That's true. Our <laughs> dog is that the, guy there. The first one. He's 120. This at least. one yeah. is 120. This one's like 90. Yeah. So, so maybe, maybe she could drive it. And, maybe yeah. Layden's going to have to drive the vehicle. Are you okay, Layden? Are you going to drive? She's in. Yeah. Um, that's kind of crazy. Uh, what else? So some other news about another Gigafactory in Berlin. That one actually just had 10 body and white Model Ys delivered to it. You can see they're kind of stacked up over here. Now, there's some rationale as to why. Uh, two yet aren't even unboxed. That's kind of funny. Uh, but basically, these are going to be what they kind of calibrate their equipment with and all that. So maybe Giga Berlin is quite further ahead than we might think as well. But also, uh, we can talk about the 4680s a little bit too. Um, a lot of people still saying that the first Ys built there are going to be 4680s. Uh, I am a firm believer they will not be. And yeah. I think even Elon mentioned that originally, during the last call. Originally, he said that the, the Gigafactory in Berlin would have the first vehicles with 4680 cells and it would be their new, like, refreshed Model Y. But a lot of things have changed, you know, in the last year and a half. And, and as we've seen, the Plaid didn't get the 4680s or the Plaid Plus when it was later renamed. So, yeah, I don't think they're going to be able to go straight to the 4680s on this. I don't think it's going to be the redesigned Y that they 
thought they were going to have. Maybe that's going to be coming in a couple of years. Yeah, so I, I definitely think they're going to kind of keep with what they know for now. I, I mean, I definitely see like the forward or the front half vehicle casting and the rear vehicle casting, but definitely no structural 4680s or anything like that, unfortunately. Um, and if we're wrong, we, we'll be happy if we're wrong. Oh, I would. <laughs> this is a case where I would love to be wrong. Yeah. Uh, but that being said, we have also heard a lot of rumors that Model Ys will be shipped to Europe from Shanghai. Yeah. Uh, I don't think it's like any anything's been confirmed yet. Correct me if I'm wrong. But there've been a lot of rumors about that. So but, yeah. the the first Model Ys in Europe might actually not be from Giga Berlin or Fremont, which is actually kind of cool that. They now have that capability to be able to move vehicles around the world based on like demand. Multiple and factories, yeah. 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 Definitely helps. And I think, as we saw in their last earnings call, uh, having multiple factories, I think, saved Tesla. <laughs> if they didn't have Shanghai, I don't think they would be doing nearly anywhere close to they are now, which is great. Um, let's see. So we, we've talked about... The Model S refresh hold that was a few weeks ago, which has since yeah. been released, but we think we might know why now. Yeah, we're, we're not 100% sure. You know, we were speculating a few weeks back why there was a delivery hold. And for those of you who don't know, basically Tesla stopped delivering the new uh, refreshed long range S and the Plaid S. And there was at least a week where no deliveries would be made. Those cars were like at local delivery centers, but people were told, sorry, your your delivery appointment's canceled. We have to wait for an update from, uh, you know, Fremont. And uh, there's some people were saying it was a software update. Some people were saying it was actual hardware update, we've seen some people over the past week have actually said that uh, they noticed they were having charge port issues on yeah. their, their vehicle, and it was due to an antenna issue on the redesigned uh, vehicle, and Tesla has been, at least on some of those if, who've been reporting the problem, they've been adding a uh, uh, like a t uh, an antenna that can help with the issue, which basically when you push the button on your wall connector or your mobile connector at home, it's not opening the charge port. And while you can just touch the charge port or open it via the, the screen or the app, you know, it's nice. That's what that button is for, is to open it up. So basically, Tesla's been adding like a, a temporary or an interim uh, antenna to that. And they've mentioned right in the service uh, tickets for these vehicles that these can be swapped out once the new charge port is available. So it sounds like Tesla, you know, they're definitely aware of the problem and they're fixing it, but they are already planning on coming out with a different charge port. And that's something we've discussed in the past where we saw that there's probably an, even another charge port coming. You know, we don't know if this is the one we, we mentioned you know, a month or two back, but uh, there's definitely something happening with the charge port. Yeah, definitely something. And this kind of falls in line with what we heard online. Some people on TMC were actually told by their advisor that there is a charge port issue. So perhaps this was raised to Tesla HQ as being a potential issue. And they deem that it's not a big enough issue to warrant not delivering cars. Because all you really have to do is push on it um, to open it. But it is something that I think will definitely be fixed on any delivered refresh S. Hopefully they fix it when X rolls out. No idea yet. But as you can see here, it just does say, uh, and this is on a refresh S by the way, uh, charge port door will not open when pressed on charger. Have tried three different Tesla chargers. Uh, the service center verified the concern, installed the antenna overlay on charge port. Charge port will open if pointing directly at left inboard taillight. Updated charge port will, be need, or will need to be installed when available. Advise customer that you can also open door by pressing on it. So not a huge concern, but if you do take delivery of a refresh S, just know that if this is an issue, I would still fill out a service request so you can kind of get in queue. Um, but currently there isn't any fix for it. Yeah, just a temper. Well, there's like this, it, they're not swapping out with, they don't have the new part yet. Yes. So. Yeah, yeah. And I mean, rather than them install an overlay on my charge port, I would probably just wait until the new part comes in because really just pushing on it to open isn't isn't the end of the world until the new part comes in. Also, up. I've heard that the problem doesn't really exist at superchargers. It's just when you're using your wall connector oh, or your mobile connector. So it's like the signal level or something that's sent out. Must be higher at superchargers? Yeah. Interesting. Mm, so okay. it's not a major problem, but I can yeah. see that you know, it's definitely something they're going to take care of. Definitely. Um, but speaking of which, 
there's a, some software update fixing on a few issues? Yeah, a few, you know, there's been a, a, an update or two over the last couple of weeks for the refresh model S. Just they fixed a few bugs that have been out there since uh, June when they first started the deliveries of those refresh vehicles. Uh, there's still a lot of features missing from the new interface and um, we're going to be talking about that maybe this week or the next week. We'll do a video on those, just going over what's missing and what what needs to be added. So yeah, and I. They think had, but one of the things they did fix that, oh. that we were looking for, we noticed right away, the dash cam viewer wasn't. Oh yeah. There was no button for it. We were looking all around, couldn't find it. When our friend brought his out like two months ago, couldn't find it anywhere. And uh, somebody did give us a tip that you could use the microphone button and you can say open dash cam viewer. But Tesla has now fixed that issue and they've added a little icon so you can uh, see it right on your dock. You know the screen and you can open the dash cam viewer that way so um yeah but so anyways and there's also been updates for regular vehicles uh the non-refresh vehicles that have uh, been coming out just like a new game that's been out over a week but uh, uh yeah. nothing ma still major still no v11 or whatever so. and i don't believe they've even added the ability to swivel or rotate Not yet. The oh screen, yeah there's still a lot of which stuff missing. we've been yeah. told all the parts are there they're just waiting on like the software to be finalized so still i think a lot of fun things to come and maybe even a few surprises along the way. Yeah, and, and and as we talked about last week, Tesla announced that they're going to be opening up the supercharger network to other manufacturers. Haven't really gotten any new details on that yet. Still uh, wondering if they're gonna just upgrade a few of these superchargers per location, or if they're gonna go ahead and add adapters at all of them. That That's gonna take a lot longer. I wouldn't be surprised if they just upgraded a few of them at each location because that would allow cars to use those but Tesla would still be able to use those as well where we've seen like in Europe where some of the superchargers there have uh, two different cables one's for the like the, the the Tesla charge port and then the other one is the CCS standard so maybe that's something they do here in the United States as well but but Tesla is continuing to expand the supercharger network as Eric and I mentioned last week we were in uh, Iceland for a week and we drove all around trying to find the new locations and we just missed one by like one day it was there but we drove right by it because there's yeah. basically like two big shopping centers in uh, Akur, let's see, wait a minute, Akur, 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 yes. say Akur, Akur, <laughs> and basically we looked at the other, at the big shopping center, and it turns out it's on the other one. We were like right here, yeah. and it's right here. And, yeah, and and it, it's it wasn't on our radar, so we missed it. But luckily, a couple of locals there in Akureyri have uh, been taking pictures and confirmed that it looks like it's going to be a V3. Uh, eight stall supercharger there and that's definitely welcome because that'll make the the stretch uh, the drive between western and eastern iceland a lot easier but also as well as by the airport now yeah they're going to also yeah so tesla did add their map so this is just a couple that we noticed in iceland but tesla updated their map last week and a lot of new supercharger locations have been added we noted uh, noticed uh, some changes even in colorado they added one it's going to be on i-70 in western colorado um kind of west of vale but east of uh, i think uh, glenwood springs <clears throat> but, uh, and also uh, we did notice uh, that I actually found uh, that one location in eastern Denver actually has under production, looked like it's almost ready to open. It's going to be a V3 stall, excuse me, V3 supercharger with 16 stalls, so that'll be a nice addition. It's, it's not at the University Hills location, which we found like a year and a half ago, but it's a little bit uh, further east in Boulevard 1, which is a, a sh new shopping center. Yeah, and that, that one's a little different. It's actually more in like the city. Yeah. Not so much on easily on a major accessible highway. with like highway traffic. So we're thinking that maybe Tesla's putting this one up so that hopefully locals will use that one instead and kind of the ones along the highways will be a little bit more open for people doing a lot of traveling because along the highways and by the Denver International Airport that one only has like what six, six. stalls. Yeah. And that one can get very crowded sometimes. Yeah. So I, I think having this one kind of close to that but more yeah. in the city will help alleviate that i still think they might have another one up there on i-70 coming here uh kind of close to the stapleton area i wouldn't be surprised but yeah. but again this is just in colorado but we've seen if you check out the map uh, they've added them all over the world there's all sorts of coming coming soon ones because i know it's like even like in south carolina they added three like all with you know relatively short distances all just these great all over pins. the place they're just showing up yeah our and, ones and a, coming and a bunch of come online recently like all over the place like especially up in like the upper peninsula of michigan so it's just making you know it's a lot easier to get around it, it supercharger network is still i think the best ev charging network around definitely and we experienced the on network when we were in iceland and while it wasn't terrible it wasn't 
as fast as the Tesla superchargers. But also, I, I know it sounds minor, but having to use your little RFID and touch a screen and, and touch the screen tell it and to everything, turn it, on. It, it was just. It, was a, it felt a little clunky when I was so used to the superchargers where all I do is I plug in, everything else is handled. Yeah. The billing is handled. The time, like everything else, it's just so much more integrated. Um, and it just felt a little clunky, almost like it was, it would have been an afterthought. It's a separate company though, so I understand that's why, but the supercharger network definitely, uh, it, it's left me a, a little bit wanting more out of some of these others. Yeah. Um, let's see, Mando X Games, thank you for the $5 super chat. Really appreciate that. Said, thank you. Tesla was excluded from the president's meeting this past week with three automakers. Elon mentioned it as sabotage. Thoughts? Yeah. Um, that was odd. Yeah, yeah so we were, we were waiting for somebody to comment on this so that we could talk about it. Um, so thank you, Mando, and thank you for the super chat. But yeah, I, I thought that was very odd for them to leave Tesla out of this, considering Tesla has been the one to really pave the way for all yeah, this. If, if Tesla hadn't been producing vehicles in the last 10 years, none of the other manufacturers would have gotten in on this market. So, And Tesla has produced like over 50% of the vehicles, so why weren't they invited? Probably because they don't have a union. But uh, the thing is, they are still monumentally important in EV yeah. manufacturing. And so it's really a, a slap in the face that they weren't invited. But the one thing Tesla doesn't have that a lot of the other ones have is a union. Yeah. I think all the other three, don't they have union? Oh, yeah. All. So I think that's why they were excluded, uh, which is kind of sad because I, I, I don't want to get too far down the union rabbit hole because, yeah. Um, but at this point, I don't really see unions as something that are like a must have. It, it's not like back in the day i i agree why unions existed it, there were a lot of other organizations that didn't exist to help protect employees but nowadays i don't really know why they're so big or why but it's, but it's fine though that these other manufacturers do have those unions exactly but other but don't manufacturers penalize that don't, tesla. shouldn't be penalized yeah. exactly don't penalize tesla or vw as um yeah. Seamus mentioned don't well, penalize them but for what's not. also weird too is that you know ford their ev is built in Mexico. Exactly. And they got invited, whereas I know. Tesla is, had, makes the most EV cars in you know in the United States, and they weren't invited. So it's just kind of odd. It seemed like a slap in the face. Yeah. So, <clears throat> yeah, I won't go too much more into it, but that's kind of how I feel about that. Um, Pet Cam, there you go. They're passed out. They had a lot of fun today. <laughs> um, Diego said, "Do we have a new confetti sound?" No, that that sound is actually what. I get notified of when there's like a super chat or anything that comes up here. I have like a sound plan on my computer and that's... Seems like it's a bit delayed though sometimes. Yeah, it's a bit delayed. But I guess just one more piece of news though. We're just going to do a quick solar update. This past week, we actually reached 100% solar offset for the first time and we tweeted it out and Elon actually replied back and we had different numbers, you know, earlier in the week, but so far f since our... Oh, that calls for confetti on full screen. Yeah. So since our uh, system was installed, we are now up to over 73,184 kilowatt hours solar produced versus 73,051 kilowatt hours used. And as we mentioned, we tweeted it out like on Tuesday or Wednesday when it happened and, e and Elon actually liked it. And um, uh, so for those who don't know what solar offset means, it basically means how much we've generated with our system versus how much we've used over the past three years to power our house. And that's powering the household, all of our electricity, as well as charging between two and four Teslas. So that just shows that our properly sized solar system has, it's, it's, it's definitely paying for itself because we don't really have an electric bill. We don't pay for gasoline anymore. And while that doesn't mean when you see the 100% offset, it doesn't mean that we're not using any grid power. We do still pull some power from the grid, but we're actually only about three just a little bit over 3,000 kilowatt hours of uh, excess that we've pulled from the grid versus what we've sent back. So over the past three years, we've pulled 41,925, but we sent 38,889 back. And as this year continues, we're still going to have a surplus for the next couple of months. And then, you know, we're going to, that surplus will get a little smaller once we get into the winter months. But next year, it, it should just get even better. And we're going to have greater than 100% offset. So it definitely shows that you can do it. You can have a solar system and you can and almost be independent. You're, we're still on the grid, but you can generate all of, of your electrical needs. Yeah. We've been super happy with our solar and super thankful. 
uh, for Tesla uh, to have such an integrated system because that's what we love. Um, real quick, John, thank you for a $10 super chat. Really appreciate that, John. I said, my carbon fiber spoiler is coming up on my Model Y. It's going to be replaced under oh, really? factory, un under warranty. Found out there's a recall on the Model Y 2020 heat pump for a pressure switch for heat for the winter. Mm. Sounds like what Roger Isn't experienced. That, yeah. Um, I don't know if Roger and Amy are here, but maybe if they are, they can tell us kind of Did, what their service request was, said. Because that was on the 2020, you said? Yeah. Yeah, because, yeah, that's yeah. the same one. Because we basically had a 20, well, we have two 2020s. We bought two 2020s. We sold our first one to Roger and Amy, and they experienced that issue, unfortunately, last winter where they didn't have heat for several weeks. Yeah. And unfortunately, where they live, there was no service center, and the mobile service wasn't going to be out there for a while. So they actually ended up. Well, it's a thing that can't be done mobile. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because it's they have to, they have to drain everything. Yeah. So basically, they brought it back down to the the Denver metro area to get it serviced. But I know that that is a, a, a big issue, especially in winter months. I mean, it's it's nice. You probably not as bad over the summer, but definitely want to get that fixed before the winter months start. Yeah. Hopefully, they can get that tidied up for you, John. Um, quick. Uh, but thank you so much for the ten dollars super chat. I really do appreciate that. Um, but that's basically it for the news that we had. Uh, wanted to kind of cover some of that. Now, I do have, it's not really news, but I wanted to kind of share with you what we did actually this morning. It was kind of fun. What did we do? Um, well, oh, we did a lot of things. Oh, yeah. I mean, we're always busy. Um, one, we shot a fun video, hopefully up later this week. Uh, but we went out oh, yeah, okay. to Tesla Superior, which is a service center, store, location. And I wanted to see what cars they had available on the lot now it is a sunday so they were closed so i just saw kind of what was standing out there one there's not a lot of cars in general there's more than there were a couple weeks or but a couple months ago when the lot was more. like totally empty yep but we found some really interesting things and i kind of want to talk through that with you guys real quick yeah, several interesting um, things and actually john just real quick responded said set up a service request for the heat pump for upgrading the pressure switch sweet Good. hopefully yep. uh everything works out great for you uh, and they can kind of tidy that up, especially in time for winter. Definitely yeah. something to look at for sure. Um, so while we were there, uh, we saw this beautiful long range plaid. Uh, absolutely love it. But this one had black interior. But do you know, is this the one with the... Uh, uh, I have some other yeah. pictures okay, showing that a little bit more detail. See there's if anybody something can, not right. Something's not right with this picture. See if you can figure it out. We've, uh, we caught it. Um, something is not right. Hmm... We'll, we'll go into a little bit more detail in you a few You might notice minutes. it when you compare it to this picture to the other ones. Yep. Um, let me go next. Here is a beautiful midnight silver metallic with those 21 inch arachnids. Beautiful. But it's got the tan interior, which... Or cream, cream. A cream interior, which I'm not a huge fan of. Oh, and real quick, May said a giant stuffed animal is attacking the roadster. What? Oh, that's, oh, what's that? Oh, hmm. hmm. What is that? Hmm. We'll, we'll probably, oh. Oh. <laughs> Very good observation oh. there, Mace. <laughs> uh, plus 10 points to Mace for the observation. Um, <laughs> you'll have to wait for that one, though. Um, but anyway. Um, <laughs> it took me a second to figure out what he was talking about. I'm like, what? <laughs> it's like, oh, yes. Um, but this Model S, yes, it had that cream interior. Um, arachnids otherwise looked great but this is what I found funny why do they have a cat on the sticker <laughs> what's going on here he doesn't look very happy so I think there's he looks concerned yeah so I think he has concerns on that vehicle yeah um, and then this other vehicle also has a cat on it <laughs> I'm very confused by all these cats on their uh, Mon Monroney sticker I'm very concerned about that but anyway they didn't all have that. But no, so this one did. didn't have it. Oh, I. This one didn't have it. This was the cream interior one. Um, so, also very nice. Um, let's see here. That's the cream interior, though. I just, I don't know. It doesn't scream me. Yeah, and it, and if you think that the color looks a little off, the the color in the Denver area has been. Very like, hazy. Weird. So if you look at that, it looks kind of yellowish on those seats. That's not entirely the cream color, but the sun the, is just weird here the last few weeks just because there's so much smoke from those California and some of the Colorado fires. So the, the light is just weird here the last couple of weeks. Oh, it does say test. I didn't see that. Oh. 
Okay. Good cat. How did we miss that? I don't, well, I saw the cat, and I think that's... But so I the cat one says test, and this one doesn't say test. Wait, why are they... What does test mean, though? I don't know. Is this a test vehicle? Interesting. Okay, good catch. But we speaking, totally missed that. But but keep going, because we have oh, a wait, few more pictures. Someone said the cat means test drive vehicle. Oh, maybe. Interesting. It doesn't make any sense, though. Why would a cat be a t test drive vehicle? But yeah. Anyway, I thought it was kind of funny. Um, but in another picture of that cream interior. But here's another uh, plaid that they had. Um, uh, was it? So was, here I think you it was can long see, range, wasn't it? Or, sorry, long range. Yeah. This one has those silver arrow covers on a silver rim. And, this is and the, I think Mace already saw this, yeah, too. Yeah, probably. I think he already called these it. These are the 19-inch wheels that everybody saw when they first listed the car for, uh, you know, like early, like in January. They had these silver 19-inch wheels with the silver rim, but then they didn't deliver any of those. They've actually switched to a darker colored rim with uh, like a gray or, or yeah. blackish uh, metal. So this car wheel. had the silver wheel rims with the silver Tempest on it. This one had silver. This one, though, had the dark gray rims with the silver Tempest cap on it. Yeah, or, yeah I think, and it might have a different name for, I know that one time it was called Tempest, but it was yeah. like Cardellia. But it's got the dark like gray, which, yeah. it was just weird to see. So that's kind of mismatched there, but again. The mismatch. Yeah. And then we did see this, which was a manufactured plate vehicle, and everything was torn apart. The center console torn apart. Um, no trim on any of the dash or doors. Uh, this vehicle looks like it has been put through its paces can for sure. Can you see by the seats if it's a plaid or a long range? Because we couldn't really tell because the it, you know it didn't have carbon fiber. It's kind of hard to tell. Does it have any trim? No trim. Can you see the piping on the? Yeah, it doesn't look. It, like I it's think got it's got a the, long range yeah, based just, on the yeah. seats. But it, yeah, it's basically one of those test mules that people saw months ago driving across the country. So they they are still around. Yo, <laughs> um, still kind of being tested out. But um, yeah, some interesting things. Um, I don't know how we missed the uh, test on those stickers but I think we did. the cats just uh, yeah the us. cats distracted us yeah. and we were just like what yeah see they put like um, kittens and stuff so it's like oh kitten oh yeah they and did you... distract <laughs> us it worked gosh yeah. dang it good call tesla um but that was the first time i've ever seen that i know we see like the hedge or not the hedgehog the um yeah there's a or, or what I is it, it was, when you place your order I what animal is that i thought it was a hedgehog no it's not a hedgehog it's another mm. porky animal mm. i can't Porcupine? remember mm. no sonic the hedgehog is it uh, yeah it's hedgehog there you go i think Didn't it's you hedgehog. say hedgehog no huh. okay. i don't think so anyway um we've seen that but not on like the actual stickers so that was just kind of interesting um but let, let's see um Jeff said cats are curious, so perhaps the cat indicates test drive cars for curious buyers. Oh, maybe. Oh, that's actually, it's not bad. I don't know <laughs> why I didn't think of that, to be honest, but now it makes complete sense. Um, Robert said cats have nine lives, so maybe those are built more sturdy with oh, metal yeah. bumpers for mm -hmm. test drives. Oh, yeah. That'd be interesting if they started doing that. Um, cat cars for catty buyers. <laughs> oh. Uh, that's funny. Um, but yeah, let's see. Uh, Diego said, did you guys get to keep the price of the S now that it went up again. Yeah, so still locked um, in, anyone yeah. who's ordered before the price increase should be locked in. Um, so that's great. We, we are still locked in, but unfortunately, as of right now, um, we don't have a new Model S yet. No appointments scheduled for delivery. So hopefully, I mean, you never know. It would be nice if we heard something quick and were able to get a car quick. Um, I have reached out to some of my contacts previously, and... All the cars coming in are already assigned, but maybe that they have some test drives if that's what these cars are for, which actually these cars look like they just came off a truck because yeah, all the Model Ys had um, their flashers going. Yeah. So um, I'm pretty sure they literally just came in. Um, Dan said, but didn't Curiosity kill the cat? Hmm. Oh, uh -uh. that got dark real quick. Um, real quick though. Uh, Tom's Turbo Garage, thank you for the $10 soup chat. <laughs> really appreciate that. He said, hi, fellas. Thank you for Thanks, the Tom. stream. Last week, I took delivery of my January order wow. white exterior, what? black carbon fiber interior, 21-inch plaid. Nice. And love it so much. I hope you guys get yours very soon. Yes, saw it on Twitter, and I was not jealous at all. Yeah. I want you to know. Um, but damn, that thing looks that, really good. Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations. Yeah, hopefully we'll be getting hearing about ours soon. 
Yeah. Um, I mean, that's a great combo. The white exterior, the black interior, the carbon oh, yeah. fiber, the 21-inch so, oh, plaid. Yeah. yeah, I would like that. Great, yeah. great color that. combo. Do um, you still have the... Oh, never mind. No, go on. I don't know what he's trying to leak back there. No. Um, we still have our orders in, though. We just, just Yeah, hopefully soon. Uh, thanks for the support, though, Tom. Really appreciate it. Uh, looking forward to more pictures of your plaid to tide me over in the meantime, though. So post away, please. Um, let's see. A lot of people said cream interior screams old man. <laughs> Someone said cream interior looks bomb. Um, it's just, yeah. It's so it, it's a very personal preference. I am not a cream interior person. That being said, I had been offered a car that somebody had passed on. That was a red exterior, which I'm totally cool with, and a cream interior. So being the cream interior, I decided to pass on that car as well. Uh, I believe it was a, was it a plaid or was it a long range? I, think I can't remember. Just, I don't remember. That was a look but anyway, bag. we were offered that because I guess the original buyers had uh, some issues or something and couldn't get the car anymore. Uh, but because it had cream interior, we decided to uh, pass on that one. If it had black interior, we'd already have it. Um, but I don't know, maybe, maybe I should have just done it, but it's the cream interior. I just, mm. we really love the white interior. That's a hundred percent. Number one choice. The black interior does not look bad by any means. So that would definitely be a uh, option that we might consider. And then let's see big wave dragon. Thank you for oh, the $5 wow. super chat. It said, hi guys. Hello. Oh no. Um, oh no. It's, why does it work one time and doesn't work the other? We're know. having money gun problems. Yeah, we still need to find... Okay, wait. I think I got it. Woohoo! Thanks, Dave. Thank you for the $5 <laughs> super chat. I really do appreciate that. I uh, hope you all are doing well. Um, but yeah, so if you guys have any questions, uh, if you have something you want to talk about still, definitely drop it in chat and we will start kind of going through and kind of just hang out with you guys. Uh, I see Tiger Roll said chip shorted still. Definitely. Um, it, it's across everything. If you are trying to buy a computer a lot of the higher end chips you can't find or you're going to end up paying almost a double price premium on those chipsets uh, a lot of that a lot of electronics in general i have a feeling we might even see this start to trickle down a little bit to cell phone manufacturers i don't know if they're still got any delay or anything like that or maybe they had enough already made and but they do, and they do them in like millions exactly you know, a lot more than cars so you'd think that but they even would... that's something that you might end up seeing a delay on when it comes to phone manufacturers release their new products we might see very limited availability of those new phones or they might kind of delay stuff um i saw you see amy said that uh, somebody amy uh, in chat yeah, yeah amy yeah. amy yeah amy she amy. said Hi, a, amy. a local guy was kicked off a local track with his plaid because it was too fast and so actually my friend we were here, wondering about that yeah. um that went i i don't i don't think he'd mind if i show you this so let me pull this up but anyway um he went on wednesday right he went on a wednesday and they didn't say anything to him let me just get rid of everything else they didn't say anything to him but they gave him a sticker that said the 150 mile an hour club <laughs> but they didn't yell at him they didn't do anything so it's like that's interesting well, yeah hopefully um, he, he, yeah. But let me pull up his uh kind of fastest run here um oh i think i misspoke i think i said it was a 948 earlier it was a 9435 oh yeah oops yeah so it's still that bad and Concerning a track his... speed of 151 41 wow yeah Crazy fast. I have to correct. I think I said Big Dave. I meant Big Wave Dragon. So sorry about that. Who gave us our last super chat there? Oh, yeah. I said Dave. It was Wave. <laughs> yeah. Um, but thank you. That's interesting, though, Amy. Uh, I have heard several people get kicked off as well because at most certified tracks, which our local one is, if you do over uh, or under a 10-second quarter mile, you have to have like a full body suit on. You have to have like a parachute and a bunch of other stuff. I think you have to have a roll cage. Um, and that's all stuff that plaid does not have. Now the body suit, I guess I could get one, but I have my nice carbon fiber helmet from racing. So I think I'll just use that. But um, maybe eventually I can be kicked off a local track. We can only hope. I would take that as a badge of honor. Yeah. My car is that, too fast. At least in that vehicle. Yeah. So, you know, you don't want to be banned like entirely, but you know. It would make for a great YouTube content. Yeah. Um, let's see. Um, Jim said, I refuse to drive a pink car given to women who sell cosmetics. 
Yeah, I remember who is that? What Mary Kay. Is Mary Kay. Yeah, I used to see those all the time. Yeah, back the, in... don't they do Cadillacs? Yeah, yeah. But I haven't okay. seen those. I've still seen them around, but don't seem as many as they used to have back in like the '90s or whatever. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Nintendo Nate said, "Hi, gang. Uh, how how is everyone? Uh, just saw that CNET ran an article about Model S price increasing five thousand dollars. Yes. Mm. So long range S and I believe it was X as well." Yeah. Both experienced a $5,000 price increase. Now, one thing I actually kind of want to talk about. So thank you for sparking my memory on this. Let me pull it up real quick. Why is it that the Model X Plaid uh, yeah. it's not... is cheaper than the Model S Plaid? Yeah, I don't know. Somebody It the... makes no sense. I don't think they've noticed that they, they haven't raised the price on the X enough. Or excuse me, yeah, I don't want to say enough. Well, <laughs> because some people will complain. We, we know what you mean. But why is yes? Why is the plaid the plaid X should be more expensive, but it's it's isn't it less? So if we're doing, I have a uh, a plaid cheapest option, no charge paint, no charge wheels, no charge interior, no full self driving is one hundred. Let's just call it what it is, one hundred and thirty thousand dollars. <laughs> Whereas a Model X plaid. No charge paint, no charge wheels, no charge interior, no charge seating is a hundred and twenty thousand dollars. Yeah. So it doesn't seem whereas you're if you more add car. the six seats, that's only a sixty five hundred option. Seven seats are thirty five. But how is Model X base has always been five thousand more, more than Model S base. So this seems like it's off by a full fifteen thousand dollars. Yeah. Which almost makes me want to put an order in for a plaid model X. <laughs> yeah. Someone convinced me not to, but what's going on here? Yeah, it just seems like the the pricing's off. But it but the good news is <laughs> while the Tesla did have that five thousand increase uh, recently, people who already had their orders in you are locked in at that existing price. And the price has actually gone up like twenty thousand since yeah. since the beginning of the year. So we're um, while we didn't get the full discount, we thought by locking in before the price change that we might be able to get, you know, that old price. They did still provide a, like a two thousand dollar discount on the long range one. Yeah. Um, v from the ten thousand increase that they had at the time. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Um, let's see, Colorado or CO underscore MY. I assume you're from Colorado and you have a Model Y. Oh, yeah. um, it said can't wrap the interior. Have to get what you want there. Exactly. But we can technically wrap the wood trim or carbon fiber yeah. trim so that i'm not like super picky and, about and you can swap out the trim too or yeah. they have shells and stuff so it's always easy to change the 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 decor but the yeah. seats are a lot would be a lot more what if we got the cream and we bleach them white mm, yeah I don't know. seems like a terrible idea yeah it's gonna look awful um so yeah exactly we're waiting for the seat color that we absolutely want um, Diego said, I was told the service advisor I normally dealt with just quit and went to Lucid for triple the pay. What? Now I know why their cars are so expensive. Well, wow, maybe I should. Does Lucid have an office here? Triple or the pay. Let do me, they have a showroom here? I, I know someone at <laughs> Lucid. I'm asking him right now. I'm just kidding. Yeah, like, um, let me call my boss and tell him. Yeah. Um, that's wild. Triple? Okay, if any Tesla employees are working here, please don't leave Tesla. We appreciate you. Yeah. But dang. But if any lucid people are here, let us know how much that is. So I'd <laughs> Yeah, send me a DM. Um, I'm available. Hopefully my boss isn't watching. Just kidding. Um, Lex said, have you guys gotten the FSD beta? No. Things we haven't gotten, FSD beta. Refresh Model S, refresh Model X, AI day invite. Am I missing anything? I think that's it for cur current, <laughs> the current backlog, yeah. Current backlog. Um, we I, would love FSD beta, yeah. but I guess no one even in Colorado has it. Yeah, they, you know, they, they brought it out, what, was it October? Was it already last Something year when like they that, released yeah. it? And then they released it to a few more people a month or two back, but really we haven't heard of anybody else getting it. I think they're still really, uh, maybe it's still 2,000 people, but they're not, like, rolling it out to everyone. Yeah, hopefully in time. Um... Robert said, let's talk about Tesla not being at the Capital EV meeting and discussion. Um, yeah, we kind of hit on that a little bit. I don't know. I guess this was a few minutes ago, so maybe you, you uh, had missed that part. But yeah, it, it is kind of a bummer. But I read some other comments and some people said, who cares if they were there or not? They're selling every single car they're producing before they're producing it. So, I mean, y you have a, a, a point. I, I agree. I think they should have been represented being... They are doing so well, and 
the things they have accomplished, I think, should be celebrated. And I don't think they should have been snubbed like that. But I, I think in the end, Tesla might have the last laugh. We'll say that. Um, let's see. Jay Pavilion said, let's talk about why long range orders are being delayed. I've heard many different things from many different people. Yeah. I have no um, confirmation of any of this. But basically what I have heard is if you want white interior and if you have if you want white or uh, carbon fiber, it's all delayed. And the 19 inch wheels as well. Oh, and the 19 inch wheels. So Though I thought they've I think they've done a few deliveries. of They those, have. But we uh, actually I saw one at the Littleton Service Center over the week um, when I was picking up something for an upcoming video. And uh, it did have those. Uh, dark 19 inch wheels and covers. Um, let's see. Connor said galaxy unpacked event on the 11th, ready for my fold three. Is oh, it yeah. already that time? Do you want a new phone? No, no, no. We're still, we do don't want my the, phone. We don't want the one? folding or we don't, oh, need, we okay. don't need that one, we don't but need we're still waiting. One. Probably. It's still going to be probably another six months before okay. we get an upgrade. I feel like I just got my phone anyway. You did. You just got it like six months ago. So. <laughs> <laughs> um, what can I go through faster phones or cars? Actually, I think it's cars. I don't know. It's Yeah, the last couple of years, except for this past year, because it has been over, it's been like 14 months since we've taken delivery of a car. Unacceptable. Yeah. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, it's saving us money. I guess we'll say that much. Yeah. Um, let's see. Uh, Chris said, debating between Model S Plaid versus Model X Plaid for 10K less. Well, we kind of just covered that. Yeah. Um, if you don't care about, the, the X would have more room and be probably more comfortable what room is this speed for people difference? as well. I think it's almost the same. I think they did lower it slightly from when the, the, it was first announced back uh, in January. Yeah, so Model S Plaid 1.990 to 60 and Model X Plaid 2.50 to 60. I would go X. But, and the top speed is slightly lower there as well. I mean, if you're doing 149, where are you doing 200? That's yeah. what I want to know. Yeah. Because even on tracks, very few tracks, I think you can even hit that kind of speed because you need the room to do that kind of speed. Um, I, I, If I had to choose S versus X, the only thing, though, is S looks so classy and sleek. The X does kind of look a little... Bloated, or it's it's bigger, yeah. It's a little bigger, but the X has more room too, which is nice. It has that and the towing six capacity and seven, too. Oh, and the towing. So it just depends on yeah. your needs. If you need if you need towing or room for more people, definitely go for the X. But if you don't need you know more than more seating, then I would still go for the S. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Sean, which Sean Tiz said, my state doesn't require front plates. Had to remove the license plate holder. A bit of a hassle, but looks much better. Yes. I believe I saw your comment up above where you had gotten a long range, was it? Congratulations on that. Um, but yes, uh, technically Colorado does require those front plates. However, for some reason, all mine always seem to like fall off and get broken. It's, so yeah, it's that it's that double sided tape which makes it that it comes off really easily. So yeah. yeah. So for some reason, all my front plates end up going in my front because I don't have time to fix them and put them back on the car. But you will get a ticket if you like park on the side of the street or anything without a front plate. Yep. Um, some Tesla guy said, really wanting to go SUV-ish. I canceled my Model S order in order to Model Y performance. It'll yeah. hold me over until Model X time in a year or so. Definitely getting that Alcantara headliner. So dope. Yes. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. Absolutely love it. And I mean, it's I guess we can kind of talk about it a little bit. As soon as we know when we're going to be getting a Model S, the Y will be going up for sale. With the Alcantara. With the headliner. Alcantara headliner. Um, we have done so much to that car, and I absolutely love the car, but we don't really need it. And I figure with used prices the way they are, it makes more sense for me to sell it than to hold on to it. Yeah, but we were looking, I think it was like a year ago yesterday, yeah. that you... that. You picked it up with that Alcantara headliner and drove it back from California, and we met up in Moab. So a nice like, road trip there. When we just had the Model 3, which we absolutely loved in Iceland, yep. that headliner, it's just like the fabric headliner just doesn't feel as luxe as that Alcantara, yeah. for sure. So definitely Alcantara for the win. Um, and again, that's like an aftermarket, the, the one from T-Sport line. It's not yes. something that Tesla offers uh, on their own. Yep. Um, let's see. Uh, Amy said, I think they were nice about it, but 
It was like no one will win against you, so you can go home now. <laughs> LOL. <laughs> it's, just, it's, just, know, it's like um, I'm just yeah. That's gonna be so much fun. Enough, maybe enough of the ice vehicle guys have to complain. They're they're going to go do. You know what though? Like <laughs> if you can't take the heat, get out the kitchen. Mm-hmm. That's what I gotta say. Um, let's see. Um, where was I? Oh, where were we? Uh, Tiger Roll said regenerative braking is much safer than a parachute. Yeah. And it actually puts energy back into your battery that you just kind of threw out the window. So, yeah, I agree. Um, let's see. Robert said there are a couple pink Mary Kay Cadillacs in San Antonio. <laughs> I haven't seen those in a long time, though. So, I don't know. Maybe that's different now. Uh, Big Wave Dragon said chip delays are all over industries depending on pull up with chip manufacturer. Uh, density of needed chips, quantities, etc. Definitely. And I mean, any low-lying fruit that's like a smaller startup and like smaller companies, they're getting hit the hardest because they're kind of at the back of the line, Did which you see, is sad. See, Frank Rudy's saying, has anyone seen a Refresh Model X? Do any actually exist? And you, we were talking about yeah. that yesterday, that somebody said they spotted a couple of them being delivered, right? Yeah, somebody... In, but it was Florida, right? Yeah, somebody, I think, I think it was on Twitter or something. I can't quite remember... Um, I was just scrolling through and somebody said they saw like two uh, Model X's that were on a truck to be delivered, but perhaps they were the test vehicles or perhaps they were test mules that they had just shipped to Florida for some other testing. I haven't like I've been watching those flyovers of the Fremont factory and I really haven't seen anything with like X's rolling out. So I think it was something else and not some something getting delivered. Uh, we have dog sneezes. Oh, no. Oh. Okay, <laughs> sorry. We had some bit. dog action yeah. going oh, no. on. Uh, but I, I don't think there are any X's actively being delivered, to be honest. Um, hopefully in time, though, because we still have our long-range X. Still very excited yeah, for that. But that will be big news because, yeah, we still have yeah. a, our still says August for our Model X. But, yeah, we, we're not counting that, but we'll be quite pleased if it does. But I think that'll be big news. You'll hear about it once uh, the X really does start getting delivered. Yeah. Um, May said he sent me a DM on for a white plaid with dark Tempest wheels. I'm on it. I'll look that up. Amy said cell phones are struggling. We have issues getting them at our store. See? Um, it's kind of, like, affecting everything at this point, which is a little bizarre because it's been so long. But I think... Like, there's, like, one big chip manufacturer for the whole world, and they do, like, 90% of all chips. And I think that's kind of an issue because, yeah, if that anything happens there, it just affects everything. Yeah. Um, Jay okay. Pavilion said we should order the Plaid Model X. We should put the order in. Yeah, you could lock in that price. I mean, we're not like we need to keep it, but... <laughs> but um, we could uh, do it, but yeah, that'd be just coming down with the, the down payment with all these other vehicles. It's like moving them around. We, we limited g- to garage space. Yeah. Um, yeah, it is only a hundred dollar deposit for the Plaid X KK, but I will say that hundred dollars I don't believe is refundable anymore. Is that correct? Supposedly, yeah. Okay. Then I, I hear you can sometimes get it back, but supposedly it's not refundable. Yeah. I see A10 Pilot has says, hey guys, love your channel. Waiting on our Model 3 Long Range. Howdy from Texas. Howdy, A10 Pilot. Welcome. Uh, wow, that'd be cool if he could give us a, if you could get us a test ride in an A10 one of these days, we'll let you borrow our Plaid. <laughs> you know what an A10 is, Eric? No, but did you just give up a Plaid that we don't have? No, I said he could test ride it when we get our Plaid. <laughs> if he gets us a test ride in an like, A10. Do I need to look up an A10? Yeah, it's the one with the big gun on the side that, that's like... Oh dang! Oh, wait, is that the is that the one? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know if that's the right picture on the side. I mean, I'm into it. If you have an A10 or you fly A10s, yeah, hit us up. Uh, I need to look up the message from May. So if you want to take a few questions while I do that. Oh, okay. Yep. But yeah, congrats on your long range three. I'm sure you'll enjoy it. We had a uh, we we used to have a long range three, but um, we sold that boy back when we got the performance three, right? Back uh, yep. a couple years back. But definitely nice on road trips because uh, you get that ex- that extra range and the V3 supercharging. So Mace just sent us this. Um, this is a tweet from somebody else. Um, Tesla Model S refresh finally shipping with standard 19-inch wheels. Oh, yeah, uh, maybe there's a first, chance yeah. I could get a call soon. It does look like it has the black interior still, but um, it's definitely got those black wheels there. It's the white. You can tell it's a plaid because it has that spoiler on it. 
Um, that looks gorgeous. The white looks so good. But it doesn't have the plaid badge yet, huh? You no, know, it's it's on there. It it's is, just okay. under the wrap. It's like oh, okay, I see. Okay, yeah, yeah I couldn't tell because it's white and white. Yeah. And from back here, I can't. So see I it. guess the only thing though I can look at this and see is I need abstract ocean. If you guys are in chat, uh, claps for you. Otherwise, I'll text you later. I need some white vinyl to cover this, these door handles. Oh yeah, yeah. We noticed the that black looks a little out of place on the white. Yeah. The door handles. Yeah. I wish they were color matched. Yeah, I know that some of the t mules we saw were. Yeah. So that, yeah. I Thank you for sending that though, Mace. Really yeah. appreciate that. Um, but yeah, we'll have to look into that. Um, let's see. Chris Tech said any Model X updates. It currently still says August delivery. Um, but I'm not believing that at this point. Um, I'm thinking more September, October. At least that's what I'm telling myself. So hopefully I don't get disappointed. Um, MRDSN189 said, did you hear we, Metro Denver, have the worst air quality in the world yesterday? Yes, yeah. and it is awful outside. I have had to take allergy medicine, um, nasal sprays, everything, because I have yeah. not been able to and, breathe. And I've had a sore throat, because you know, we do a lot of uh, hikes or walks with the dogs, and so we're outside. You, we try to not to overdo it, but you still breathe it in, and yeah, I've had a sore throat for, for, for a while, and it's just because of the smoke. Yeah, it's really bad here. Um, Not as bad as last year, though. But we are seeing a drop in our solar, even. Yeah, the other day it was it was probably off by a third. Uh, uh, still doing okay, but it's down by a third because the smoke was so bad. Yeah. Um, Chris Tech said, "What do we think looks better, X or Y?" Hmm. I don't know. I, I mean, <laughs> to be honest, the X kind of just looks like a little bit more inflated Y. I don't know. Maybe the maybe mm, maybe the Y just because the front end. Um, let's see. Uh, Roger said mine wouldn't stick to the ceramic coated PF. What were we talking about, Robert? Mm. Or Roger, sorry. Um, Did you, are you going to talk about the door the, handles? Remember the part? Oh, maybe that's it. If he if he's ceramic, yeah, that could be it. Maybe if he's ceramic coated oh. it and then tried putting the wrap on there, and then you know. Like, Maybe that's what he's talking about. But are you going to talk about, remember the part that you ordered that you need to pick up? Yeah, I'll text him. Okay. That's yeah. going to be a future video, so I don't want to, like, super oh, leak yeah. something. But for, if is that Roger, though, Roger? Yeah, it's, Roger? it's Roger, Roger. Okay, Roger. Good news. The part is finally in. One oh. of, <laughs> yes, some of them are, yeah. Um, let's see. <laughs> Sorry, we don't mean to snake anybody, but sometimes it happens a little bit. I have to keep you guys on your toes a little bit. Um, Tibstar1 said, Sorry for asking, but what do you guys do for a living? So I work in biotech, and I also have a couple companies that I run. Yeah, and I'm own. just a, a web uh, developer for a telecommunications company. Speaking of, though, um, one of the companies that I own, it's reptile-related. Some of you might or may not know. Oh, yeah. Um, I have been doing a ton of work on that, and I've gotten it to a place where I was thinking maybe doing, like, a little blog vlog about it on my other channel i don't know if you guys would be interested in that but maybe yeah um would be fun because a lot of you guys ask about that but i really haven't gone into it and i think what i have received lately and what i am about to receive would be pretty entertaining and and a little bit of trivia oh with, trivia time on eric's first tesla model s he actually had geckos was the uh, vanity license plate on that so definitely into reptiles I love that place. Now they're all Derek S, Derek Y, Derek 3, you know, Derek X, stuff like that. So. Yeah. That Actually, play was a good one, though. That was a good one. Um, let's see. Um, somebody said, oh, Tiger Roll says, Lucid is paying X Tesla employees $150,000. Wow. They Wait, can pay me one hundred fifty k. Does Lucid have a, uh, yeah, I went, does Lucid have an office here? I need to look that up. We're not <laughs> Tesla employees, but we know enough about them we could be. Yep. Um, that's absolutely wild. Plus, we could if we could work for less Tesla, or excuse me, Lucid, we could still do our Tesla videos. That would be funny. <laughs> oh my God, can you imagine? That'd be the bad thing. Um, That'd probably be the only bad thing about working for Tesla is that might not be able to still have our YouTube channel. Exactly, and that's actually so. Like, I absolutely love what I do in biotech and everything, and that's I, I haven't really been looking or anything, but 
if I worked at Tesla, I think it would be amazing. But I think the one thing that would hold me back from that is I wouldn't be able to probably make videos on Tesla yeah. because that that could probably be seen as I don't know. I'm sure it's restricted. Conflict of interest. Yeah, it's. I'm sure it's restricted. Just it's like the company I work for. You're not allowed to make any comments about the company. Yeah. And so, oh, oh wait, I just made a comment about them. But anyway. oh, no. oh no, you made a comment yeah, about anyways, the comment that you're not allowed to make. I know, but basically, <laughs> yeah, we, that's probably why we're not going to work for Tesla anytime soon, just because we wouldn't be able to do this anymore. Yeah. And we have a lot of fun things planned for the channel, so it would be a bummer to not be able to continue that. Um, Malo said, uh, finally, I got an end of August delivery date for my Model 3 long range, ordered in April, white exterior, white interior. Love the wow. choices. That's still like a really long wait for that is. for a Model 3, but yeah, I guess things are really slowed down. So the one thing that I've been telling myself to try to keep myself sane about our Model S and Model X, the longer we wait, the potential of new features we will receive. Yep. It's very hard to do, though. I, I, I can relate to that. The problem, the problem with, though, is with that is it seems that no matter how long we wait, as soon as we take delivery, something else comes the following no. week, and we're like, oh, I wish you had that. So, and as we've said in the past, there's like the, the best day to own a Tesla and the worst day to own a Tesla. And the funny thing is it's both the same day because you're, it's the best day because you're taking delivery of your new Tesla, but unfortunately it's also the worst day because the next day something better Could comes come out. out. Yeah, yeah. So. They're amazing vehicles, though, for sure. Uh, Frank said, has anyone received the software update that has the Disney Plus? I believe that's only been refreshed S's. Yeah, Am we, I right on that? I think we, we don't have it in our cars. No. We, bo both we got an update, but we didn't S get that. The S and the Y got updated, but neither one of them had that. We had the new game and a couple other minor things, but n no Disney Plus yet. Yeah. Um, that would have been nice to have, though, last week when we were in Iceland. Yeah. We did end up watching some Netflix and some YouTube. We watched. Oh, we, we streamed some Iceland when we were. Or excuse me, some Disney Plus when we <laughs> oh, were yeah, in the Disney hotel. Plus, yeah. But it would have been nice because we did when we were charging at those slow on chargers. We were like watching movies, but we ended up watching Netflix. Luckily, whoever had rented the car before. Um, no, actually, I think that's the owner was signed in. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, we were still. Uh, we didn't have our Netflix uh, logged in or whatever, but somebody did. So we were able to watch uh, uh, catch up on that Eurovision uh, song contest, The Tale of Fi Fire Saga. <laughs> Definitely a, a, a recommended movie there. Uh, how many thumbs up would you give it? Two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. Um, let's see. Mine Tesla said, I'm pretty upset. April 28th order with May 5th completion date for a basic Model Y long range. Still waiting and showing an October delivery date. Well, May yeah, 5th completion day? That's... Hmm. That's weird, yeah, if it's if it's completed, you'd think... Oh, well, maybe that's when he completed his uh, stuff, maybe? Oh, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, so, I mean, uh, SNX obviously delayed... Y does have some delays as well. Um, I'm curious though, what is the current ETA for a Y if we ordered today? Um, a, a, a lot of it goes back to that chip shortage and part supply thing. I, I hate to say it, but it does. Um, right now it says December for a Model Y. So see, this is all the more reason why as soon as we get a new S, I want to try to sell the Y because with used prices at an all-time high... Uh, I think I'll do pretty decent on it and not lose too much money. Um, let's see. Uh, so, okay, here's Roger. Yep. It wasn't about the wrap not sticking to the door handles. It was the license plate. Is oh, it, if you put that yeah. license plate, it, yeah. That's, you know, yeah. we have the same problem, Roger. I, I yeah, feel you that there. That explains it. That's, yep. why it's, yeah. that's why it never sticks. Yeah. Oops. Yeah. It's in the frunk, though, so I don't think that does anything, but... Makes me feel better. Um, let's see. Michael three sixty wants to know if you're lizard people, but no, we're just regular lizard people. Like underneath, you know, like in V, where they tear their face off. No, and, no. I just, but he does I, have I can relate to reptiles because when I was younger, I was misunderstood, and reptiles are misunderstood. Boom. Me in a nutshell. Um, let's see. Jay Pavilion said the rear diffuser on that white Model S is not there. Pull up the pick again. So it, it is there. It's, it's just, just wrap still. They have like the shipping wrap on there. That's why I was confused because I couldn't see the ra the badge and all that so stuff. So right, there, right here you can see there's like that line. That's all wrap. There's some wrap here and there's actually wrap on the front end. And same thing with like our photos that we had. Let me see where those are. Um, some of these like oh right there. 
you just can't see it on the white car, but it has this white plastic over it to protect it from any dings or anything in shipping. Um, like right there. This is all that's on it, and it had it on the rear too. And this other uh, long range refresh Model S has it. This white one did not. So that's all it was though. Um, let's see. Daniel Brown said, I'm gonna update my Cybertruck reservation to a tri-motor. Do I have to call Tesla to do that? That's a good question. Yeah, I don't know if you can modify your order or not, because I know it depends. Let me look real quick. Yeah, we'll check and see, but I know that in, for sometimes, once you've submitted it, you can still modify your order, but uh, we'll have to check, because with the Cybertruck, it's not a real order right now, it's just a reservation, and so uh, he's pulling up our account to see if he can do that there directly. But while you're looking at that, I, I'll just see Jim. Here, I was at... Oh, you got it already? Uh, no, 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 I was at uh, 628. Okay. If you're looking at times. Yeah, uh, da, 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 da. okay, yeah, I see. And, oh, yeah, and there's, there's Tiger Rolls, like, why does the plaid look so fast sitting part? Yeah, it does. The, it, it it's even, so sexy Even looking. the long range looks really fast, does it? But, yeah, you can definitely see, looking at it today, how they've, like, flared, the, like, the fenders or whatever. They're, they're definitely uh, sticking out a little wider than and the uh, previous I re Like, I, I've seen this uh, camera module yeah, when uh, our friend Jason brought his over and everything, but... Every time I see it, this sticks out so much further. Yeah, it's definitely... So it can see around that rear fender. Yep. Um, so opening up my Cybertruck reservation. So if I open it... Let's see here. I don't... I can't, like, show, show. Um, if I open it, it does say need... If you go into your Tesla account and click on your Cybertruck, it will say on the bottom right... It says, like, learn more charging Cybertruck features, need to make changes, edit design. If you click edit design, you yeah. can change to single dual tri-motor, and you can add or remove full self-driving and click don't, update design. Don't click anything, though. But Us. <laughs> I think if you update design, you get changed to the new full self-driving cost. So to be honest, before you do anything... Daniel, I would call Tesla to verify that. Yeah, just because there have been some price changes since it was originally announced. Exactly. Um, let's see. Uh, Michael said, disappointed that the X is on such a long delay. I don't even see that much change. Yeah, the and exterior. That's what's, uh, we really yeah. haven't... Uh, we've seen a couple of the test vehicles with a five-seater, and they don't have a fold-down middle seat with mm -hmm. charging. So... Is that some kind of delay? How are they going to work that in? That's, what if you have a six-seater? So I'm still crossing my fingers, yeah. hope that they have something, because we've seen in the Model S refresh, it has the new, you know, the full-down armrest with the built-in wireless Qi charging. It'd be nice if that was still available for Model X as well, because currently we're not seeing that on any of the, the mock-ups that we've seen. Yep. Um, yeah. Uh, Chris said, do you guys sometimes feel like the touchscreen is a bit harder to use than physical buttons while driving? Occasionally, I mean, that a touchscreen is going to be a little harder to use than physical buttons because you can kind of feel around that. But I don't find myself needing to use the touchscreen really while driving much. And there's enough stoplights. If I'm stopped, I can kind of use it. Um, Lex, thank you for the three dollars <laughs> super I really appreciate that. Said superchargers in Prince George are not active. Yeah, so basically, if you go to like supercharge.info map, you'll see that Tesla is really expanding out the supercharger network there in British Columbia, and they're building like five or more of them. And so maybe it's it maybe they look like they're done, but they're not active yet. I don't know. I haven't I haven't heard on those in the last uh, couple of days, but I see that they they keep adding locations. Well, I don't think I don't know if you can see it on t go to supercharge.info because Tesla's map supercharge.info. Yes, yeah, Tesla's map is going to show doesn't show construction status, whereas supercharge.info and then click on map on the top right. And where is this that I'm British looking for? British Columbia, so up in Western Canada. There, see all the construction. So, yeah, I think it's the top one in Western Canada. So I was trying to find my computer screen. Yeah, so look at the top construction one. Is that Prince George? Yep, that yeah. one is. So um, it just says status construction 27 days. Yeah, but you can see down below it to the south, the, the, you know, definitely going to expand the network so it'll be easy to get up there. Hopefully, you know, once they get these done, they'll be adding other ones to the north as well, and eventually you'll be able to drive all the way to Alaska. But it's Which, still, yeah. 
It's we, kind of our plan. One of these days. One of these days, we really want to do that. I mean, it, it is possible now. People have been doing it for years, driving their Teslas to Alaska, but it takes a lot of planning because you, the, without superchargers, you have to either have a Chatamo adapter or you have to like p stop at a campground and charge overnight. So that really slows you down. So we're looking forward to the day when you can do it all via supercharger or almost all via superchargers. Yeah. Um, Jim said he would trust me to service his car more than an average employee. Oh, yeah, wow. and Eric's done, wow. Eric's done a lot of things, and we've had a lot of people in our garage that bought yeah. their cars by for whether it's just wrap, in, you know, uh, center console wrap installs or all kinds of accessories you've installed uh, over the years. And, and you've He did say I could run a super Tesla performance shop. And, I mean, it hasn't, have it hasn't been marked off the list. Yeah, that's what would be nice if Tesla would come out with some, if they do ever come out with some sort of certified, uh, you know, shop. Uh, besides a body shop, you know, we're not really interested, I don't think, in doing body work. We could definitely install accessories and stuff like that and, yeah. and minor changes. And that's one thing I actually kind of see in the future, like future plans. Like I have a lot of like goals and everything I want to do. But I mean, in the future, I would love to be able to do some work on people's cars for accessory install. Yeah. Um, taking apart cars and making sure everything gets put back together correctly and is not going to squeak and everything is, is kind of fun for me. I enjoy that. Cause so maybe in the future, that could happen. Yeah, because you've done so many things with like tail lights and, yeah. and you've helped install like the trunk uh, for the Model 3. I think I've done like 10 or 12 uh, automatic frunk trunk for Model 3 as well as the door kick. Uh, the door or the foot sensor. So many different um, lights and, yeah. and door sill plates and reappliques. It's, it's not all kinds of it. Too things. far fetched to uh, be doing that eventually, for sure. Um, let's see. A lot of people said yes for the vlogs. We love that. So uh, Pierre said uh, we use Vog mask for air pollution due to California wildfires. Also good for COVID. Interesting. Maybe we'll have to look that up. Uh, yeah. Because the smoke here is just absolutely nuts. Um, David said, please talk about the Cybertruck and what you guys think about it. We love it. We yeah. want it. We're ready for we it. We still have two reservations, <laughs> one dual motor and one tri-motor. So we're just waiting for it. And, yeah. and uh, hopefully it'll be out. Like we said, it's not going to be coming out till 2022, but hopefully we'll get ours in sometime in 2022. Um, Diego said, can we do the live stream from the garage once you get your new oh, S? Oh, yeah. We, we, oh, that was one of the things we were talking about. Um, we kind of went, went away on our vacation, and we haven't... Uh, Followed up on that, but that so, will be happening. One thing we have been working on behind the scenes, we kind of talked about it a little bit last time, is how we can do live streams from the garage and still keep them entertaining. And how, how do we do it? All this that makes all this run, I actually have two computers. One computer runs this, which is actually like a gaming computer, but that's what we have other stuff on. One computer runs the stream and everything. I, I can't take these up to the garage very easily. That's, these are permanent fixtures. So I've been looking into it and we actually had this. Um, it looks obnoxious, but we've come up with this. We've tested it and our last tests uh, were actually very, very positive, super happy. But this is going to be a live stream camera that we can walk around and kind of do whatever we want with in the new garage. Yeah. So we're ready for a lot of fun events in the garage and, to be able to live stream. Yeah, and it should be good quality. If many of you might remember when we took delivery of our first Model Y way back in uh, like March of yep. 2020, we had one of the very first Model Y deliveries and we started opening up, showing you everything live. And we opened up the front. We were, you know, showing you the heat pump, one of the very first views of the heat pump was live from one of, our, one of our videos and so now we've improved it so this should be even higher quality and uh, not record on a phone it will be much better with this yeah the last one was with a phone this is a full-blown i think this is the sony a6600 um now for vlogs and stuff we use different cameras but this same thing is actually what this camera that you're seeing on right now is same lens same everything so this will be it's yeah. ready to go. We just it's need just a car. That, it's that big module on the, the, yeah. the side there. So this is actually a module. I was actually testing it a little bit for the company. It's the Mars 400 Pro. And I have, this is the um, transmitter. And I have a receiver down here. And it will send all the footage. And then we can just have a laptop in the garage to control anything that we need to and read chat. But this 
This is going to come in super clutch once we get a new car so that we can really give you guys the walk around. I love doing that and you guys have a lot of good questions and stuff you want to know, which I love showing you, but the phone can only do so much. This can do a lot. Uh, but this has kind of been like a behind the scenes look at what we have been working on. <laughs> um, Michael said, can I beat you in an arm wrestling match? Mm, probably. I don't know. Though. I haven't been doing a lot of pull-ups lately, but... Uh... Get yoked. <laughs> um, I don't know. Maybe that'll be a Derek after dark thing. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Tiger Roll said, are new Tesla chargers 350 or 250 kilowatt? Two, currently, 250? the V3 or 250, at least. Maybe. It, yeah, but Elon Maybe did more. tweet, I think, a while back saying that they could be upgraded. Yes. So there is still some room in there to uh, make them even faster. Yeah. Um, Michael, another Michael said, thoughts on VW ID4. They have great lease promotions right now, but of course, it's weak compared to the three. I, I really haven't looked at any, I haven't seen any in person. I haven't looked a ton at them online. But maybe that's something we should go check out. Yeah, some I know, weekend. I, I know. I think yeah. we saw one when we were in Iceland. We did. Yeah, but um, I, I believe it was at least. But I, I know that. Uh, I think the pricing was similar to the Y, but but like I don't think the range is there yet. So, so it's still uh, something to go by and, and probably do a comparison of. Yeah. Yeah, we'll uh, definitely add that to the list and see if we can go check that out because I think that'd be a good one. Uh, Chris had ordered my Model Y in June, wait, still waiting for it. It's gone from August, September, now October. They keep changing months. Can't wait. Uh, we'll be red with white. Okay, so I, I wasn't necessarily a huge fan of the red exterior, but when Amy came down and they bought their Model Y, a second Model Y, first one they got from us, um, and I was invited to that delivery, that car looks so good. And also when we had that red Y in our garage that someone brought by for a spoiler install, mm. um, man, it looks good. Um, let's see. Connor said, folding phones are like EVs. You can't truly appreciate them until you test drive them. Oh. Wow. Okay. I never had a folding phone. but I, 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 had, a, I had one of the old razors. Yeah, I remember. Scott if had, you know what a razor is... Yeah. Scott had a bunch of like flip phones, stuff like that. But now it's nice with those folding with the screen, how it's all one big screen. So I'll definitely try check those out one of these days. Yo. Um, some Tesla guys said, did I hear someone's a web developer? Ditto. Own a digital marketing studio in Rhode Island, celebrating 14 years in the biz next month. 250 wow. clients later, we're able to afford oh, Tesla. Nice. Yeah, Love congratulations. it. Congratulations. Yeah. yeah. Biggest thing I will say about digital marketing, don't steal somebody's footage. Yeah, I'm sure he knows. I know. I know. <laughs> yeah, I know you'd never do that. Um I have had a lot of them take mine, so yikes. But um sweet, glad to have you here. Um let's see. Uh Daniel said thanks. I would hate to lose the 7K FSD cost. Yeah, cuz I think if you change from dual motor, tri motor, single motor, I think you end up having to change to the new FSD price. So definitely confirm that first with somebody because I would hate to lose some of that for sure. Yeah, I jumped ahead a little bit. You can yep. go back, but Michael Tavares is asking if we go, if we accept super chats elsewhere so YouTube doesn't take a cut. Um, one, thank you for thinking about that because I do appreciate that. Uh, unfortunately, YouTube does take a big cut, but it is okay. We absolutely love YouTube still. I believe down below should be my Streamlabs info. Um. And you can also super chat there, and that actually just sends it direct via PayPal. So it should still do the super chat and everything as well. So you're more than welcome to do that. But at the same time, super chats are not a requirement. Um, for those of you that do super chat, we super appreciate it. But it is by no means a requirement or expected by anybody. Um, we just appreciate hanging out with you guys. Yeah, but it does help get your question answered a little sooner sometimes because typically... We can get a little backed up sometimes. Yeah, and, and that kind of brings your question into focus. So we'll typically answer those questions first. Yep. But we still try to answer everybody because I know some people... I know I, when I see some live streams, it's like they won't even acknowledge you unless... You, really? You know, unless, oh. you know, it's like 20 bucks to answer a question. It's yeah. like, no, we'll try to answer everybody's questions. It just might take a while. Yep. Uh, but really appreciate it uh, to anyone who has donated... Um, as always, uh, let's see. 
Michael said, just put in another reservation for the Cybertruck to get around any possible price changes with FSD, et cetera. Oh, that's another great idea, Daniel. If you second order, want yeah. to do anything, maybe just put in a second reservation because they are refundable. Cybertruck reservations are refundable. Um, so you could try to do that instead of potentially changing your current FSD price. Great idea, Michael. Thank you so much for that. Um, uh, um, um, Modi? Said, uh, I placed an order for a Model Y in June, and when I placed the order, it said expected delivery date was August, but now it's been pushed back to October. Do you know why? Mm -hmm. Probably because just supply chain issues in general. Tesla kind of hit on that a little bit on their last earnings call, but it's kind of everywhere. It's really affecting everything, anything computer-related with chips. And as we know, Teslas have a lot of them in there. Kit's very curious yes, to say hi. I think he's all happy. He went outside and he... Are he, you happy, boy? Yes. He's Kit, all, <laughs> come say hi. Look, look at the people. Plus, look, it is seven minutes from, from dinner dinner time. So he's like, what? what? The D word so, time. Yeah, but yeah. we're going to... We'll um, wait a little bit. He can wait. Yep. He's not going to start. Uh, Diego said, we need outside investors. Oh, for yeah, <laughs> if you do your little shop. Yeah. Um, we'll see. If Tesla um, starts offering something like that, we'll, we'll uh, see. Uh, I don't know. That. I, I thought it would be fun. Because I do enjoy figuring out how things work and how to make things better. And I really love modifying cars. It's been a lot of fun. Um, Model 3 dude said, hi guys, welcome. Glad to see you here. And let's see where we are at. Cybertruck frowny face, cry face. Yes, I agree. Um, but at the end of the day, we have waited, what is it, three years since the launch event? For the for what Cybertruck? No, it's only been 2019. Oh, so two years. Almost two years. Um, so what's what's another couple months in the grand scheme it's of it? Been I almost, suppose not that I'm counting, but it were coming up on three and a half years since the Roadster uh, and the Semi. So yeah, hopefully we'll be seeing those soon too. Maybe that's why this. Oh, maybe, maybe that's why the Cybertruck's delayed. Maybe so. Um, Chaz said Elon called and said he's coming by to visit you two in Colorado soon. Hashtag get ready. Ready. Yeah, we're ready. We've got, we've got <laughs> you know, plug in, charge in the garage. We've seen... Uh, actually, you know what? If Elon comes by, we'll take him up to go see his brother. Yeah, Kimball. And yeah. we'll go have uh, dinner at his restaurant. Yeah. I'm in. I'll pay. We've My seen, treat. We've seen Kimball at many events around town, and Eric actually delivered one of his Model 3s back in 2018, September. Yep. So definitely we've, we've seen Kimball around town. A little backstory about me delivering his car, because that sounds kind of weird. Uh, a lot of Tesla... Club members oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, volunteered to help with the end of quarter push. And David and I were there along with, I don't know, t almost 20 other we're members. A bunch of people, yeah. And we were all helping give people their tours. And next thing we know, Kimball walks in and is picking up a Model 3 for, I believe, one of his children. Yep. And one of the Tesla employees looked at me and said, hey, can you give him his walkthrough? Do you want to show him what it's all about? And Kimball was great. Uh, he loved it. I kind of gave him a quick walkthrough. I assume he knows what everything kind of does, but um, it was great to kind of do that. It was definitely a once-in-a-lifetime thing that I probably will never experience again, but it was awesome. Um, let's see. Michael said, once you get a Cybertruck, buy a cheap junk car just to crush over it like Bigfoot. Oh, yeah. I mean, that sounds fun. The funny thing is, when we were in, <laughs> when we were in Iceland, I guess it was a week, a little over a week ago. Yep. They had some like monster trucks there that and, they were and like, vans and yeah. everything. It was really for serious off roading. But they were driving around on on the ring road. They were there. probably like forty inch tires plus like a two foot lift kit. Yeah. You, without a ladder, I couldn't even get in it. So they are they are saying how they are really looking forward to ordering the Cybertruck there, and I can definitely see it being popular, and uh, I think a lot of those people will be switching over to e EVs uh, once the Cybertruck's available. Yeah. Yep. Um, I mean, they already have, like, the highest per capita ownership of Teslas and stuff, but yeah. it's going to get even even higher when the Cybertruck gets there. And when the Model Y gets there. Yeah. I think the, like, 3 has sold really well in Tons Iceland. Tons of Model 3s. But there. I think the Y is even going to outsell that, and I think... Almost everyone, all the Tesla owners that we talked to, and we kind of did like a little meetup there and everything, props to anybody that came out. Um, they all said that we have a Cybertruck reservation in, and Cybertruck would be great there as well. 
Yeah. So and a lot of them said they had the uh, Y reservations as well. And yeah. we heard that there were like over 500 on order. And so that should be getting pretty busy there uh, what, in <laughs> September yeah. next month. They should be getting a big load of those. Roger said, admit it, you got that camera to use for your OnlyFans account. That <laughs> no. This one? It's a little big. That's funny, though. Mm. Um, God, that's good. Um, let's see. Chaz said, I will personally drive my Cybertruck to Colorado soon. Um, I will be the first to pick it up. Try motor Bay. Hey, yeah, if you are, yeah. definitely hit us up because we've, we've actually met like the first person who took delivery of the, like, the performance Model 3 and the person who took delivery of the first uh, oh, that's Plaid right. uh, S. S. So if you could bring us that first Cybertruck, definitely hit us up yeah. and we'll meet you. Yeah. Uh, I can't believe that, yeah, we have actually, like, made friends with, like, two firsts. Yep. And actually, uh, the gentleman, we did a lot of videos on his performance Model 3 when it first was delivered. That was, like, three years ago, like, this week, I yeah. think. Yeah. He is still our friend. He actually lives even closer to us now than he did then. Um, so I actually a- was talking to him, I think, yesterday. So, yeah, another great guy. Tesla fam, we absolutely love all of you. Um so many cool people we've met over the year. Uh, Melody said, got here late. Do you know if I will still get my Model X in September as the app tells me? Mm. I don't know. To be honest, it's I, I think September is uh, more reasonable than August. Ours says August. And I, I don't really think August is too reasonable, but I would say maybe September, October. But that's if Tesla doesn't have any other underlying issues. Yeah, because we haven't heard of any deliveries really of the X yet, so we can't really say if they're going to keep those timelines. Because again, we have a, an estimated delivery date of August, but we don't know if that's going to happen. So just keep, yeah, keep keep uh, watching the videos and and watch, and we'll let you know uh, once they start getting delivered and if they are uh, pushing them out and meeting those time frames. Yeah. Um. Slew Dog said, do you, how do you put a Tesla order on hold? Do you need the VIN number assigned first, then request the hold? I actually don't know. Um, somebody had mentioned that they were able to put an order on hold uh, for a few months until they were ready. I don't know I think how just that have, works I, currently. I, I think you just reach out to them. Yeah, it's like your owner advisors. Yeah. In the past, there used to be a little drop down on the page and you could just say okay i want it in like three months or six months they got rid of that in many you know probably four or five years ago but now if you just contact your owner advisor they'll basically kind of just put that in your record and they'll say that you're not ready yet and they'll uh, they'll still have your order but they just won't uh, assign you one until it gets closer to that month that you to- tell them that you want it yeah uh model three dude said model y sold out till 2022 so actually on like Tesla's website, it does say long range is December. Performance is six to eight weeks. Oh, okay. So, the, so a little faster for the performance. A little, a little bit, but I mean, we're we're getting close to being just sold out for the year for sure. Yeah. Um, let's see. Amy said your favorite red Model Y. Of course, Amy. Of course. Um, yeah, it's a beautiful car. Let's see. <laughs> razors rocked. Um, the razors were the iPhone for that time. The phone. Uh, I, I mean, when so I thin. got my, exactly, it was so thin and it kind of flipped open. God, it was so cool. And back wasn't in the, the day. keyboard like flat? Like it didn't have yes. the little like chiclet it buttons. It wasn't raised. Like, it was like yeah. kind of flat. I mean, for what the razor was, it wasn't a bad phone for the time. I mean, now we look at it and if you show that to a kid, they're not going to know what it is, but kids these days just won't know what we had to live with. <laughs> mm. Um... Let's see. Oh, Melody, she just said, thanks for answering. Oh. She did a super chat. Four ninety nine. Thank you. Thank you, Melody. Very much, Melody. Um, thanks for answering. Please tweet as soon as you hear anyone getting oh, Model yeah. X. Definitely. definitely. Yes, we will. Definitely, definitely. Um, fingers crossed it's sooner than later, but with how everything has been kind of delayed with part shortages and just the situation in the world, I'm thinking more September, October. Fingers crossed, though, it's not pushed back too much longer. Yeah. And hopefully we get a few more surprises that we haven't heard of yet. Exactly. I think being that the X is delayed even more so than the S, maybe there'll be some other things kind of pop up. That would be kind of a nice little surprise for having to wait. Um, Alpha said, do you think the FSD button will be released by the end of 2021? The FSD beta button. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, we're, I'm still not convinced there will ever actually be a full self-driving button. Just so another question then. 
does the standard versus advanced software does that do anything? I don't know. So for the first question of about the full self-driving, but I don't really know if that's ever going to happen because you think everybody would go turn it on. Nobody's going to read the disclaimers, and there's going to be all kinds of people uh, not operating True. it properly. And I think, again, as we've stated, I think they should give it to people who have owned Teslas longer or have owned multiple Teslas just because they're going to be more responsible more with, familiar. That, with that full self-driving beta. So while I know everybody probably wants it, I think they should give it to others before, instead of giving it, you know, you don't want somebody to take a delivery today, never driven a Tesla before, having pushed the button and then crash it within five minutes. Because we heard, didn't we just hear somebody crash their, their run? Yeah. Yeah. So it's just like you don't want to just give it to everybody. They need to have some experience first. And as for Definitely. the uh, standard versus advanced, I don't know. I just, th it's still up in the air about that if it really does anything. Because we've had cars, one time we had four different cars in the garage. All f you know, three of them I think had advanced. One of them did, or no, all four of them did. All but, did. My, but my mom had standard on hers, and she would get the update before us. So I don't know if the, the, that was you know a year ago. Maybe it's changed since then. Maybe mm. there really is some priority now for advanced. But in the past, we were seeing that standard was actually getting delivered before advanced. Yeah, huge thanks though um, for that five dollar super chat. Oh, and, and there's another one. And then yeah, Chaz. Uh, Five dollar. Super chat said it. You guys are so pimp, and you know it. Hashtag ballers. Um, I guess we will say all this money you guys see raining down is paper. It's like fake money. It's not yeah, real money. It, it looks pretty realistic, but, um, but yeah. I guess we should clarify because yeah, some people we're not might really be just rolling around in hundred dollar um, bills in our. Our dogs are not laying. On, oh, the <laughs> bad photo. <laughs> money, money, money. Oh, 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 uh -oh. kids. Uh -oh. Think, yeah. We have some dog drama. Uh, there we go. Um, our dogs are not just laying in money. Um, yeah. <laughs> we do shower them Maybe with pretty someday, much anything they but want. Right now, we have to use fake bills. So I, I guess. Uh, well, well, this kind of reminds me. Somebody posted on our recent tweet that Elon liked. Oh, Huge yeah. shout out to Elon yeah. about our solar. And a lot of people said that this isn't feasible or within reach unless you are like the one percent or whatever. We are not. Uh, I mean, I'm not saying like. We do bad by any means, but at the same point, like, if you kind of crunch the numbers and, like, we're really smart with what things we do buy, uh, I guess you may be a little bit more so than me. I intend to spend a little bit more money, but we, we've worked for everything, and so this is, like, kind of how we like to spoil ourselves is get solar <laughs> um yeah. and we've always wanted to kind of just be like a net zero we want to be self-sufficient we don't want to necessarily have to depend on uh an electric company and potential and for like coal burning rates too and they're yeah exactly and same with fuel we don't want to be part of the problem we want to be part of the solution if that means we have to divert funds from uh one thing in our life into something like that it's something that we decide to do uh, I think but yeah, it was global it warming of, and all that is something yeah. that should be addressed, and this is our way of kind of addressing it. It is kind of, a, I don't know, disappointing when some people send out tweets like that. Just, just and but you know, yeah, we've paid for it ourselves, and, and the cool thing is, since we've installed our solar, Tesla's prices have dropped at least thirty percent on solar exactly. panels, and and there's still the tax credit there that pays like another. 30%. So, I mean, you can get it. You just have to crunch the numbers and see. And you don't need as big of a system as we do. We have a huge 20.5 kilowatt system, but we, like I said, we have between two and four uh, Teslas over the past three years. And if you only have one Tesla or zero Teslas, you could go buy with a smaller system. And so it would be a lot cheaper. But definitely look into yeah. it if you're interested in solar. And we need, we're going to have finally, uh, ho hopefully this month, we're finally going to have like our three year recap of our solar system and, and what, uh, how, you know what it's been like for us over the yeah. past three years and i guess the biggest thing too is you don't have to buy solar outright you can actually lease it through tesla they still do that in right? some places i think in I don't some know. places but also or you, you get can a loan. do like the loan they on get it really cheap financing it's like less than one percent exactly something. so it's almost Which, like free money to be honest now that we think about it we probably should have done that because we could have turned that money into a lot more money yeah. doing it that way oh yeah we're still happy with what we chose but most of those loans, you can actually get a loan payment less than your utility electric yeah. cost would have been. So you're still actually saving money every month. Or a lot of other companies, 
even our couple of our neighbors have signed up with it's like no cost solar where basically yeah. you don't have to pay anything down the other company will come in put in the solar and you basically agree to pay them for your electricity they they work out a deal with the electric company yep. and you might have to pay a little bit more per kilowatt hour but you don't have to pay like anything down so uh, it's it's still possible to get solar with without outlay you know paying all that money up front yeah and i see somebody else said uh, i wonder how they're always buying new cars well when i buy a car i sell a car and while i very rarely i think it's only happened a handful of times have made the same amount or more on that vehicle i end up losing a little bit but it's no more than a person's probably typical car payment so that's kind of how we're able to do it it's not like we have physically shelled out all that money another way to look at it but yeah it is yeah, what it is. yeah but again like i said we don't have 12 cars in the garage we're now down to two so uh, yeah we those other 10 have either been traded in or sold off yep um did you see pierre's comment yes pierre thank you for the five dollar super chat pierre. sorry uh, we missed that i was on a little bit of a rant um so for those of you that don't know pierre has a long range model s and he ended up having to pay for like it ordered uh, ordered it yeah and then had paid tesla the eighty one thousand dollar down payment and his orders have been delayed um and so it kept just being delayed, delayed, delayed. And he said, uh, requested for my $81,000 down payment back from Tesla as the you guys advised me to do. They said it could take up to 90 days. Yikes. Shaking my Hopefully head. Hopefully he gets his car sooner than that, but that's just... That's know. a very long time. For, to be without that, you know. I mean, that's... Yeah, that's a large amount of time, for sure. Now, um, I'll, I'll send... Uh, I'll try to send you a message later. I'll try to send you yeah. a message later. But, okay. Yeah. I'll just jump back up a couple messages yep. a bit. I saw I'm bored 200 said I ordered my Model S, uh, I think long range, before the refresh announcement. I wonder if I'm locked in at the old price or the new price. With that, if it was before the announcement, they did increase the price by $10,000 back in January when they did it. And we had actually put in an order to hoping to lock in the price and avoid any price increases. Unfortunately, it was such a big change with the interior and that and the price increase of 10,000 that they, you're not locked in at the 10,000 off, but basically they're giving you a $2,000 discount if you have one of those early orders from before January 27th or so. Yeah. Um, let's see. Navin said, I'm taking a road trip from Moab through Denver. Oh, yeah. uh, does the Tesla lose a lot of charge at driving through the I-70 corridor? Well, speaking well, of driving speaking through of the, the I-70, I-70 corridor, corridor it, you can't really do that <laughs> right, right now, now because they've had some, they had some major fires like east of Glenwood Springs last year. And because of that, there's now mudslides this year and I-70 is closed east of Glenwood Springs. So you're going to be... Indefinitely. Indefinitely. And the whole, they're trying to work to get it open you know, at least one lane each direction. But last I heard, it, it's going to be a while. And the detour, you're going to have to probably go up north through Craig and over through Steamboat Springs down through Kremlin to get back on I-70. And there are other alternate routes. You could go from Grand Junction. If you're in Moab, you could go across Grand Junction or even go south through Montrose and uh, over through uh, what uh, Poncha Springs and then come up that way. So... Um, I-70 is going to be difficult right now. Uh, hopefully in the future they'll be adding. We did tweet Elon last week to see if maybe they can put some temporary superchargers in Rifle just because that's the last town on I-70 where, uh, where you would head north before heading to Craig. So right now uh, it's a little more difficult than usual to get through Colorado on I-70. But we've... If the road was open, it's no problem because the good thing is, well, 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 you do lose some energy going uphill. You get almost all that energy back by going downhill. Yeah. So, like, if we charge up in like Silverthorn, it's right west of the Eisenhower Tunnel. Once you go through the Eisenhower Tunnel, it's like downhill for the next like sixty something miles. So you use virtually zero energy going sixty miles. And when we go up uh, to other places in the mountain, like like Blackhawk, it's about forty miles away from us. We use like zero power to go forty miles, and uh, it's nice that you get most of that energy back on regen. Yeah, super nice. Um, Bradley said, "Found you guys from the Model Three road trip. It helped convince me to add FSD, and that the SR Plus will work for me." The three is on order, but no delivery day. First time joining live. Thanks for all the great content. Awesome. Thanks. Uh, happy we could 
Which help out. Were they talking about a road trip in? I think it was the SR Plus that we picked up. Oh, that one. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So yeah, that was that was good. So again, that, that was actually a fun road we trip. We bought that car. Was it yeah. in September of 2019? Uh, standard range. We just bought that temporarily because Eric's uh, performance Model Three was sent over to Japan, right? Yep. And so we bought a standard range one just to keep us. Uh, so we had a car to drive, and so we drove, picked it up in Kansas City because they didn't have any in the Denver area. We couldn't go without a car, so we. Picked it up, flew to Kansas City, drove it back. And while it did take a little bit longer on I-70 driving it across Kansas, it was still totally possible to drive it. Just You just had to stay a little bit longer at, the, at those superchargers. Yeah. But we only actually kept that one for like three weeks because uh, <laughs> we w ended up wanting the long range just for other reasons. And then we had the long range ones, and you had that for much longer uh, yeah. until you got the delivery. So about nine months on that one until you get delivery of that first Model Y there in 2020. Yeah. Great car, though. Congratulations. Uh, I hope you really enjoy that car. Uh, Brandon said CarMax is the place to get Teslas. They just started selling them. Just picked up Just picked up to three Model 3s, 12,000 miles on them, 18,000, Long range with enhanced autopilot and boost, black, white interior, $37,000 oh, wow. each. Wait, did you buy three? Sounds like, wow. Do you rent them out? Three's a lot of cars to just buy at once. Maybe, yeah, maybe in, he puts them on Turo like, or something like that. that. Sounds cool. Or maybe he's got a bubble hotel or something. And oh, yeah. <laughs> Brandon, let us know. You can comment down below. I'm curious to know. Um, let's see. Michael and somebody, a Michael360 said, there's a lot of Michaels here. And Michael yeah. Tavares, yeah, yeah, a lot of Michaels um, today, said, I can be patient with the Cybertruck as long as they can sell me the Cyber Quad to have fun in the meantime. I can't wait. Now, a quad is something I never really wanted, but... If it fits and looks like the Cyber Quad and it fits in the Cyber Truck, I'm in. I'll buy that too. Um, <clears throat> let's see. Um, answered, answered. Ooh, answered a lot of these. Yeah, love okay. it. jumping around, yep. Um, answered it. I'll just go to, Sweet. I'll We're just, doing good. So the spice of life is the thing. They yep. thought premium connectivity included online Google Maps. It does. You just need to go. You need to toggle it. Yeah, so it's maybe not on by default, but if you just touch the screen, it'll pop up with three buttons, and one of them is like a little globe. And if you click on that one, then you'll see those like Google like satellite imagery or whatever. And then the other options are for like charging and for ooh, what is the third button? Traffic. Traffic. Yeah, yep. Traffic. Yeah. But traffic, even if you don't have premium connectivity, it still has. It still uses traffic to figure out your um, routing, but uh, it doesn't. It won't show it, but. Yeah, yeah, you should definitely be getting those satellite maps if you have uh, premium connectivity. Yep, and all you have to do is like touch the screen because it will disappear so you don't have to see it all the time and then that'll pop up on the right side and then you can toggle it Took on and off. a little globe icon. And that is one map. thing. Actually, the first subscription I've ever done with Tesla is that. Um, premium connectivity. My Model Y has hit one year. Already. And mm -hmm. I now pay nine ninety nine a month or whatever it is with tax. Um, yeah. Fortunately, the Model that. S 100D that we have is still you know, grandfathered in with lifetime com premium connectivity, so we don't have to pay for it there. But the Model Y does have it after the one-year yep. free trial. <clears throat> it would be nice. We still wish the Tesla would come out with some sort of, you know, uh, like buy 10 months, get two free or something. Because yeah, a lot of places nice. that have subscription, it's, it's like you, you usually get a month or two free if you pay by the year. And we'd much rather pay in one payment than have to pay monthly. Mm -hmm. But I mean, again, it's an automatic payment, so you don't have to remember it. It's just I don't. I'd rather have one big payment than see it coming out nine ninety nine a month. Exactly. Um, let's see. Apple review said, "Why did Tesla take Plaid Plus out of the Tesla Model S?" Well, I think Elon's wording was that they were able to get the Plaid fast enough that a Plus didn't really make too much sense because then you get into Roadster territory. Yeah, but um, one thing too is I don't think the 4680 cells... They're ready. They're yet. not ready yeah. yet. And the Plaid Plus would have required that structural 4680 frame and the 4680 cells. And we were really looking forward to the Plaid Plus just because we did want that 500 plus mile range. But you know, we, we're looking forward to those, those Roadsters as well. But yeah, there's not a lot of separation. If you could get, uh, for the price point, for the Roadster to cost, you know... Quarter million. Yeah, it's not a huge difference over the Plaid Plus was going to be. So I think they realized that. I'm not... But we're not thinking it's gone forever. It might we, It might still come back sometime. Yeah, you never know. Um, Chris Tech said, what do you guys think Tesla does the best, the front side or the back? I'm going to say mm. the whole package. <laughs> Yeah. Because, like, if you just look at the front, but if they change some other... Th I like the front the best, probably. Yeah. I think maybe I the know. side or whatever, for me. 
I think but, it depends on the vehicle too. Yeah, but it's just like when I see some of these other EVs, some of them look okay, but some of them I still just like, Ugh. like like Lucid. I like the interior Lucid, but I I don't really like the exterior of the Lucid. Yeah. Um, Alpha Lucid said, did Air. you see the guy on Twitter building a new house that has fifty two kilowatt solar oh, roof yes. and twenty four? Oh, it's dinner time. Oh, dinner time for the dogs. For the dogs, yes. Um, and twenty four power walls we cost get over two hundred fifty k. Yes, I actually reached out, and uh, maybe we'll be doing a video on that sometime soon. So yeah. stay tuned. Once it's installed. Um, it sounds like an amazing system, and yes. it's something that I would absolutely love to see. Yeah, I can't believe 24 power walls. That's amazing. I think the original price you said was like $380,000, but after tax credits, it's about two hundred fifty dollars Yeah, the tax credits really help out. Yep. He also currently owns a plaid. I saw that he posted oh, pictures cool. of Already, his plaid. Oh, cool. Yep. Um, Mark said, people who think solar and or EV are beyond them are not doing the math. If you can afford your current bills, you can afford both an EV and home solar. Yeah, and I mean, a lot of people still have that thought in their head that a Tesla is always going to be out of their price point. But the Model 3s are actually not terrible. They're pretty reasonably priced. It's not long are the days where to get a nice Tesla, you have to spend a hundred grand. Yeah, they've long yeah. are those days you can still spend that much but you don't yeah. have to exactly we were, we were just looking at like like uh eric's first and or second model s that he bought back in 2017 yeah which we still have actually this is the s100d yeah it, it was like 117 or so hundred and seventeen thousand five hundred dollars but then the price came down as to as low as sixty nine thousand. Yep. and it was virtually the same car for that actually it was Better. It was better because it had like the Raven suspension and longer range and everything for sixty nine thousand. Maybe a couple thousand more for uh, options just to get the you know the interior the same. But still, that was you know a forty thousand dollar drop. Yeah. So so but you know the price has gone back up, but they've really added a lot of new stuff here with the refresh. Definitely. But, but it's nice. So we, we still remember the first drive we did when we flew to California and did that first test drive in the Model Three. Oh yeah, and, so, and we were like, yeah. "This is like scary because this is such a good car." The Model Three was such a good car, and such a and, and lesser such a, price point than the Model S. We're like, "Wow, this is gonna change everything." Because was that before the event? That was why. Yeah. We, what did we fly out there for? That was before the. That was for the event. For but, the event, but, okay. but the date. But before the event, we yeah. flew out there early in the morning, and uh, our friends at T Sportline hooked yep. us up with one of the very first Model Threes, and we got to drive it all around for the day and test it out. And we're like, "Wow, this is amazing!" Uh, you know, for the price, it's yeah. like I still prefer. For the Model S, but for the price, the 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 three is an amazing deal. It, it is, and what they have done to bring prices down. Yes, we see prices going up right now, but it is a lot to do with the supply chain. Um, but what they have done to bring prices down is great. I just can't wait to see it brought down even further. Um, Amy said, "What is Scott making for dinner?" By the mm. way, hi Scott. I honestly don't know what's for dinner. I saw he was doing something up there earlier, but uh... I saw he was outside with the grill. Oh, when okay. I came down. Yeah. So I don't know. But I am getting kind of hungry, not going to lie. Um, Thor the Best Roddy said, what's your other channel name? Um, I'll, it's just like my personal channel. It's got really cringy. I should hide those videos. It's got really cringy video. Uh, not videos, but... Uh, They're not really cringy. Like, it's cringy. It's just like it's like some vacation stuff. Um, it's videos not like... on there. Let me... I'll grab the URL and put it in chat. But that's probably where... I'll post like the reptile stuff because I don't want to put that on this channel. Um, Brandon said, sorry for the mistypes use voice to text, LOL, but I bought two model threes, all wheel drive with enhanced autopilot and boost for 37,000 each. Wow. Yeah. Do you rent them out or is it just for like you and your spouse or I'm very curious. I'm sorry. I was just curious. But yeah, that's great. But that's a hell of a deal. Deal, Yeah. Especially cause it's weird. Cause we're seeing like a lot of like, yeah. Used car prices have really gone up. So if he was able to get them there, that's pretty good. Yep. Um, let's see. Sorry, I was going to grab something. Um, do you want to start at 716 real quick while I grab a uh, link real quick to drop in chat? Okay. Uh, uh, with like Rob Carr. Uh, oh, yeah. He says, like what the do you think of the new two. Tesla? 
little electric car. Is yeah. that what he's referring to? I think he's two? referring to the model. Yeah, two. hopefully we'll be hearing about that. Elon did mention that, or actually it was in like, I think the first quarter earnings call in the uh, the materials for that call. There was mention that there is a car that has been designed in in China that should be unveiled later this year. So probably sometime in fourth quarter, we'll finally be hearing the details on that and seeing what it looks like. I'm not expecting it to come out this year, maybe not even next year, but at least they'll start having the the uh, what is the Model Two is like the code name or what people have been referring to it as, but that's supposed to be like that that Tesla is going to maybe come in at twenty five thousand dollars, and I don't know, it might be a slightly more than that just because of the way things have gone lately, but it's definitely going to be the cheapest uh, Tesla option that they're going to be having. So hopefully we'll see that later this year. Okay, and let's see, Jennifer Montgomery, it's fun to see. The car icon traveling through the GPS imagery. It's cool to see the map showing you driving through other vehicles without that being the case. Yes. We, we still have a request. I wish that, that Tesla would make it so you could see your other Tesla vehicles on the map too. Whether in the app or even in, in the vehicle itself, it would be nice uh, just if you could see your other vehicles. So. Yeah, that would be really nice so we could kind of like... See where each other is and stuff can, like that. We can do it, but we have if in the app we got to swipe between all the yeah. cars and stuff like that. So it would be nice if they were just all on one map or if you're in the car already, you're already sharing that information. And you can see it on your phone, so they should be able to put that in the car one of these days. Yo. Um, the Spices Life said, I have the satellite maps, but I don't show the closure. Uh, wife had to use Google Maps on her cell phone to find another route. Yeah, you either have to kind of like go up through Wyoming or Did you, you check can to go see if up. It's still, uh, is it still off... Is what? Did they open it back up? No. Okay. No, it's still closed, but the car, um, I don't think is showing, showing it the traffic. closed. Um, but me. you can either go like up through Wyoming or you can go what through Steamboat? Yeah. Or down to It depends Rifle. on where they're coming from and yeah. where they're going. But if you are, if, if you're they're coming from Moab, then they're definitely going to go through Colorado. They don't yeah. want to go all the way up to Wyoming. But yeah, yeah the one like I said, you could, you would you would go um, in, through Rifle. And yeah, I just checked really quick, uh, and I checked for like from Denver to Grand Junction or Grand Junction to Denver. It, it wants you to to uh, two different routes. The current one for us, since we're kind of on the southwest part of Denver area, it wants us to take 285 and go all the way down to Poncha Springs and head west over through Montrose and up north to Grand Junction. But yeah, if you're coming from uh, Moab, again, the other route that they're suggesting that they're preferring people to take is to go up. You can take I-70 through Rifle, then you head up north on Highway 13 to Craig, and then head east to uh, Steamboat Springs and down through Kremlin, and then you'll get back on I-70 eventually. But that's going to add, you know, 90 to minutes to two hours to the trip. It's just there's no way around it because the highway is closed. Yeah. It, it's, yeah. yeah. There's no other option, unfortunately. Um, and speaking of, Matt said, going on a road trip from Salt Lake to Tulsa, where should I stay in Colorado? Well, one, make sure that you're aware of the I-70 closure because you'll probably come through on that. Um, where you, should you stay in Colorado? I don't know. Colorado is absolutely beautiful. So um, I, don't, I don't really, I haven't really stayed at any like hotels here. So. Yeah, just go for the later. But yeah, we should, um, we're going to start doing maybe more somewhere trips. in the mountains. Like yeah. I don't know. I mean, yeah. Silver. I mean, Silverthorne maybe is nice. Is a nice stop yeah. just because if he needs. It depends on how. Right next to Dylan Lake. But that's not even a full day because he can he yeah. can get farther than that. I think if he's leaving from Salt Lake, he can do a full day. He can get past that. But Lyman, I wouldn't necessarily recommend staying in Lyman. No. You can make it that far, but there's nothing really out there. So I I try to stay either in the metro area or maybe a little bit west of the metro area if you're taking I-70. Yeah. Yeah. Um, let's see. Michael said, is that Odie from Garfield on the shelf? Mm, it's not Odie, but maybe. I we'll... mean, why don't you just show? Mm, I don't know. Or do you want to leave I it? I think we'll wait till next week. Yeah, we'll, we'll, wait. Uh, we'll be, we'll, we'll figure out who that is next week. Or if somebody can figure it out, tweet Eric or post it on Instagram and see if you can figure out who that is. and Tweet and, me. Don't, don't do that on Instagram. And, and why he's there. Dun, dun, dun. Mm. But um, Mace, good observation though. Mace caught that early yeah. on. Yeah. Yeah, Mace, Mace is really But it's not it. Odie, it's because funny. he doesn't really, it's not Odie, Odie was Garfield's friend, but he, Odie was a dog. This oh, is, Odie was a dog? Odie was his oh. dog, or, yeah, this is a cat, so, yeah. but he, he's just, yeah, it's a cat. It's a cat. Um, Wesley said, 40K is better, but definitely not affordable. No, I mean, it's definitely getting the right direction. It's much better than a $100,000 Model S, and that's, I think, what a lot of people that I talk to about Tesla, they're like, well, I don't have, like, 100K to spend on it tesla like a model 3 or anything and it's like you don't need 100k for that like you can get it for much less and to be honest 
the Model 3, the people that I've talked to about like Model 3 is their car is more expensive. Their current one is more expensive than a Model 3. So it's a lot of people still have that idea that Tesla equals expensive. But and also these are like brand new cars. If yeah. you look at there's actually Model S's and stuff out there that, that have been they're older, but you can get a Model S for thirty thousand or even less now. They're not gonna be having autopilot or anything like that, but those cars would actually still have like the unlimited supercharging if you buy them directly from the owner and they don't, you know, get it taken away from going through Tesla again. So there's yeah. you can get some cheaper Teslas but you just gotta shop around. Yeah. And they might not be the brand new ones. Yeah. Uh, Black House Brew says, I didn't get PPF. Can I get that or a wrap if my paint gets dinged up over the years? You can, but if your paint gets dinged up, you'll see it through a vinyl wrap. And if you want to get PPF, I would recommend if your paint is really dinged up, I would recommend you find a shop that can fix those and then PPF over it. Um, they might PPF over a dinged up car, but I would be careful about yeah, that. Yeah, they might do some like correction. The to they probably would yeah. fix it up or correct it beforehand. That's what I would hope for. Uh, so it might add a little bit to the cost, unfortunately. Uh, I'm bored. 200 says, uh, what do you think of the $25,000 Tesla should include? I would hope for at least a 200 mile range. Yep. I think... I think that's not I bad for 25K. And I think it's going to be smaller than the Definitely three. Definitely smaller. I think it would be a hatchback, though, just because globally yes. the hatchback would be more accepted worldwide and they wouldn't need to come out with a separate model like the three versus Y. They would just have the one that's a hatchback. And I think it would be a similar in size to like a Honda Fit or something like that in a similar shape. Yeah. Um, uh, but yeah, I think that's like the main thing. I think otherwise, like if it kind of looks like a Model 3 interior, that would be fine. Um, I think it could maybe it, cloth interior because that might be a little that, cheaper. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But for twenty five thousand, I think there's going to be a lot less people that are super concerned with those kind of things. Yeah. And just to get someone in an electric vehicle, I think that would be an amazing price point. And I think that's kind of been Tesla's like master plan, which is this is what um, about a decade of the master plan. Almost, yeah. So things are lining up pretty well. Not gonna lie. Uh, somebody asked, what range do we think the Trimotor Cybertruck will have in the snow? I don't know. The current Tesla vehicles with the heat pump do much better in uh, cold conditions like snow and everything. So it'll be interesting to see what a Cybertruck could do. I think it depends also greatly on if there's actually snow on the road yeah, or if it's just cold. That because, too. I mean, I've been able to drive like my S90D or the S100D yeah. over you know almost 250 miles in like below freezing temperatures. Yeah. And so the Cybertruck will have a much larger battery, but it's also going to use more energy. So it, it remains to be seen, but I would, I would hope you could still get over 200 miles uh, in the cold. Yeah. And the reason I think he's talking about with snow on the road or not is snow on the road is going to increase your rolling resistance. Um, so that could have possibly affected a little bit too. Uh, but also like if your battery preheated, stuff yep, like that yep, will also yep. greatly affect it. But hopefully a good chunk. That's, I think, why we're looking forward to that 500-plus mile range so much. Because then if we have to lose a little, it's no biggie. Um, let's see. Alpha said, do you think it's smart to buy a Plaid right now given prices are so high and they'll inevitably come down when the supply chain becomes stable? I honestly don't know about Plaid prices really coming down too much. Because those motors are carbon-sleeved. It's... There's a lot that goes into plaid. I don't really think prices are really going to come down Not anytime, anytime soon. soon. Yeah, because they just went up. And as we were talking earlier, the... They the, need the economies of scale to really bring yeah, that but down. But the long range one, the price had gone down to like 68000 and then they started raising the price back up. So I don't think it's going to come down anytime soon. Yep. Uh, Mallow610 said waypoints would be useful to get through I-70. Perfect yeah, use case. Yeah, for now, just, you know, you can use, like, a better route planner and kind of plan the trip that way. But yeah. definitely check, uh, like, Google and stuff, too, to see for that detour because of the closed highway. And then use a better route planner. See kind of where you need to do the superchargers. You can set up where you want to charge. And then from once you get in the car, just kind of go supercharger to supercharger to, along the way. But it will be nice when they do waypoint, waypoints. Yep. Um, the Tozo Tube said, hey, guys, haven't been here in a while. Wanted to let you know I finally have an estimated delivery date of my Plaid, August 25th through September 8th. Ooh, congrats. Awesome. Our Plaid still says August. Uh, our long range mm. has no date. Wait, 
Does it say August? Because I think the last time we spoke with people, there was no date. So is that news right there? Oh, is it? Does it still say August? I don't know. It, I it does, but it. you didn't. But nobody knew that until you just said. Oh, it. so it says August. <laughs> it used to say June, then it used to say yeah. July, and then it had no date for a while. Now Eric just let it slip. It does say August. I guess it's just because it's like we don't have the vehicle in hand or anything. So it said June, then it said July. So I mean, we'll I guess kind of play it by ear. See when we get a yeah. car. Um, at least when we started. Oh wait, it's not there. Oh, is that the plaid or the other one? This is the long range. Okay, because long range is still still empty. no date. It used to have a date of July at one time too, um, but it disappeared. Uh, let's see. Looking at plaid, it's taking forever to load. Yeah, uh, we'll come back to that. Um, let's see. Jason S said South Park is nice. Yeah. Yeah, lots of nice places yeah. in Colorado. It just depends on where you're going and you know which highway. So uh, if it comes up on 285, then yeah, he'd be going through South Park and stuff. Yeah. Uh, Brandon said, uh, with you guys doing the hardware upgrades, uh, with my car having a 2.5 computer with enhanced autopilot, do you think it's worth $1,000 to upgrade the FSD computer? Right. If you are planning on paying the $200 per month, yeah. Because that's really the only way you can get that. But if you have enhanced autopilot, I would not. Yeah, it's to me, it's, we like the S100D that we have, that was when they offered enhanced autopilot and full self-driving as separate packages. And the enhanced autopilot was like a $5,000 package at the time. Full self-driving was an additional 3000 But pretty much all of the functionality that Tesla is selling now as their full self-driving package for either the $10,000 if you buy it all at once or in the $200 monthly package, all of that is enhanced Almost all of it is in the exactly. enhanced autopilot package. So Except I think, city streets, really. Yeah, so and I that's think, not even out yet. Yeah, it's not out yet. So I would just stick with what you've got. If you've already got 2.5 and you have enhanced autopilot, there's no need to upgrade and, and pay the, the for the full self-driving computer. The only difference you're going to get if you spent that extra money, where you, you could make it turn on like traffic light and stop sign control and it would ding if you're at a green a light that turns green and it will show you so it's it's not, not really worth it's not worth a thousand dollars plus autopilot. the other two hundred dollars yeah. or actually I guess it would be a hundred dollars a month for him since, oh, right. since he has enhanced autopilot but even then I don't think it's worth a hundred dollars yet yeah. once they do get the you know the the full self driving city, city streets then it might be worth it but for now it's not worth it if you have enhanced yeah uh, Pierre, thank you for another $5 oh. super chat. Really do appreciate that. Said, do I just wait until October, November, being that it's going to take 90 days for a refund, or just get the Taycan as I know I can get it right mm. away? Yeah, tough decision. I mean, that is a mighty good question. I will say... Arachnid wheels won't fit on a Taycan. They probably won't fit on a Taycan. <laughs> <laughs> um, those of you that know, you know. Um... <laughs> I would imagine the refund will not take that long. I would hope not. That's yeah, that's crazy. That being said, or maybe, see if you can escalate um, it some more and see what I don't yeah. remember what the reason they gave him. Why is it? Why is this car? Is it the same reason? It's like the white interior. I, I believe so. Oh yeah, that's really unfortunate. Yeah. Um, but oh, more confetti. But again, if you want to, if you spend that much money though, you want to get the interior and the exterior yeah. that you want. So I don't blame I mean, them for the, looking the around. The Taycan, that option, like that is completely personal preference. I am just more a fan of Tesla for the being of the supercharger network, the convenience of charging, the ability, uh, everything like that. Taycan looks like a beautiful car. Unfortunately, I wouldn't know the complete insides of it because Porsche refuses to answer we my phone have, calls. We should have your mom um, or somebody go and like do a test drive oh, and then we could go. That would be good. Uh, maybe we'll try that, but I, I don't know. It's really a, a very what works best for you kind of situation. I don't think the mileage or the range is that great on a Taycan. I think it's like somebody said they got three hundred on on the way back. Oh, okay, that's not bad. Short charging sen sessions to eighty percent. That's not bad. So yeah, that was Matt right below the peers. So I don't, I don't know. That's that's a big personal preference on that one. I would probably wait because I am more comfortable with Tesla, but it's, it's, it is really up to you, I guess. Definitely keep me updated either way, though. Definitely curious to know which way you go and everything. Uh, Chris Tech about the touchscreen, a bit harder to reuse than physical buttons. Answer that. Um, but I, I think in the most case, not really. Um, it could be a little different, but I think it's still okay. Um, Jonathan said, I'm helping them make the building for the trucks. We have someone working at Gigafactory Ooh. Austin in chat. So awesome. Uh, thank you for helping build that factory. Really do appreciate it. Um, let's see. Peter said, do you guys feel the Model S and X are very expensive? 
I mean, sort of, but they're still way cheaper than they used to be. A fully specced out Model S used to run a hundred and sixty thousand dollars. Yeah. So for comparison, a fully specced out. Let me go to Model S. Right now. It uh, was even cheaper, but what's the most expensive thing? I'm just gonna like get whatever's the most expensive. A fully specced out one right now is a hundred and forty nine thousand. Yeah, so but it's it, still but it was cheaper. But it was cheaper, like another ten thousand or more, or even twenty thousand, wasn't it? Because it was one nineteen. Oh, because we left off the uh, yeah the full self driving. We'll add the price back up. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Matt, thank you for the five dollar super chat. Really appreciate that. I said, could road trip my Taycan out to you guys and visit family? Ooh. Oh my god! If you do, where's he? Where's he? Um, I don't know where you're was located. That, who, was, who was that? That sent it. Matt. Matt, okay, who said he just got it. Yeah. yeah. Um, if you do, definitely let me know. Uh, Thanks, my email's down below, or you can tweet, DM me. Uh, DMs are open, or you can Instagram me. Twitter's probably better, though, to be honest. Instagram or, gets a little yeah. bogged down. But, yeah, that would be great. Or anybody who's got, like, other vehicles that we haven't yeah. seen yet, we'd definitely be willing to meet up with you and, and check it out and see what, what you know, what it's like. We've, we've done other cars. We did the Polestar a couple months ago. We liked it. But, yeah, uh, yeah definitely would like to check out some of these others. Yeah, definitely uh, keep us updated, for sure. More confetti, because we love it. Um, and thank you so much for the $5 super chat. Really appreciate that. Um, Kevin said, do you think the Tri-Motor Cybertruck will keep the 500-mile range? Does my mm. reservation guarantee my current price? Do you think they may increase the price before they start deliveries? Um, I think the Tri-Motor will keep the 500-mile mm. range. I don't think they're going to do Cybertruck without 4680s. Yeah, I hope so. I hope that's one reason, again, for the delays. Because <clears throat> yeah. Elon did say at their call like last week that, that well, we can have go whatever two weeks uh, that that the 4680s they are improving them and they're coming they're working on issues with the machinery but hopefully since the cyber trucks delayed till 2020 2022 wow that they will have the 4680s and that 500 plus mile range yeah and that's really um, going to be useful because when, if you're towing something you're not going to get 500 so it'd yeah. be nice if you could still get like 300 or 400 when towing and as far as current price I technically the hundred dollars we put down is to kind of hold your spot. It is not. Well, it kind of does guarantee pricing for FSD. So wouldn't it guarantee the pricing for the vehicle? You would think there's so many people locked in. They would. It would. It would. Be I honestly don't really, think they could change it, but yeah. I don't know. Yeah. It, uh, That's a very good question, though. Um, Pierre with another five dollar super chat. Yeah, really appreciate again. that. Said I'll just wait it. Uh, I'll resubmit the payment of refund. Oh, man. Sorry. <laughs> if refund comes before the car. Besides, I don't want to cancel my order and have to pay a $10,000 increase. Yeah, oh, yeah it's, that's it's increased good, a lot. Another thing, yeah, good yeah. point is you're locked in at that lower price. Yeah, I didn't even think of that. Um, I'm sure the Taycan is great. We can actually talk to Matt here in chat about his if he wants to throw in chat what he thinks about his. Um I, I'm very comfortable with the Tesla, though, and especially if you're locked in with that ten thousand dollar decrease in price, like that's that's kind of makes up for the wait a little bit. But I'm right there with you. I I can't wait till we can get our cars for sure. You see, Sean Poon did say if you have EAP and pay the thousand dollars for the full self driving computer, you do get the new visualizations. Visualizations that is true, and it's nice to see mm. some of the new things. But it's like it, you don't really get any new other functionality. So if if you if you have the thousand dollars to spend, try it out, or maybe do it on one car. But I'd say if you already have enhanced autopilot, it's it's not really worth it. Because Scott's car, he has an enhanced autopilot on the S seventy five D, and I had the full self driving on the S hundred D. There was really nothing other than he didn't get to see some of the visualizations and, and, and the chime and the ding on the green light. So he he saved his money on that and and then sold the car and and didn't have to worry about paying for full self driving. Yep. Uh, Brian said, missed it. What's the new FSD pricing? New FSD is like 10 grand, but you could have locked it in previously at cheaper rates, depending on when you purchase. Yeah. Uh, Sabrina said, I think the cat on the shelf is Simba from the Lion King. Mm, still not Simba. It's a no, cat. But it's I mean, you're, Simba. that's not, not terribly. Yeah, it is far. a cat though, but maybe, maybe next week it'll be a little bit easier to see, but yeah, I don't know. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, hmm, a little bigger clue, see if people figure out who that is um, and, and why yeah. they're there. Uh, mm -hmm. Tozo Tube said, for me, it came up two days ago and said August, then today they added a specific date range. Oh, nice, Love that it. means it's, yeah, probably getting, getting close. Getting close, yeah. Yep. 
Um, let's see. Matt said, picked up a Taycan and have to say, I love it. Sound isolation is another level. Ride quality and it got 300 mile range on the way back and a short charging session to 80%. Definitely. Um, I mean, Matt, if you are on Twitter, please DM me. I would love to hear more about your Taycan experience. That would be awesome. Thank you. Um, uh oh, uh oh. What? Roger has a guess. <laughs> The cat from Austin Powers. <laughs> mm, mm, maybe. Mm. Um, but, Diego said, are we getting a new puppy? No, we're getting two. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, someone actually posted they had another brother and sister, and I, I showed it to David. It was when we were in Iceland. And I was yeah. like, can we? But it's not the right time it's right now. It's not time right now. Um, oh, someone said pet cam. Yeah, we only have them, Layden right now. Kids, Kit Kit's yeah. probably outside yeah. on the couch. Sometimes he gets really hot and um, it's kind of crowded on this bed. So do he you just want to answer himself. Roger? Um, yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, there you go. Um, let's see. Mm -hmm. uh, somebody said, it, have any Eric, updates? You didn't, you, I went. Mm -hmm. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I missed that. Great. Um, somebody said, I have any update on V11 or FSD wide release and your model S and X. Um, X says August, Plaid S says August, um, long range S, no date or anything on that. As far as V11 or wide FSD beta, two weeks. No, maybe with AI maybe. day coming up, maybe oh, we'll get an update maybe. on that because that'd be nice. Maybe we'll, they'll maybe they'll increase the number of people that have it, or maybe they'll just give it to everybody. I'm yeah. not counting on that, but it'd be nice if they increase the number of people on it. Yep. Uh, Tim Wells has a great idea. Can you put together a video to help potential buyers of older Model S vehicles get the most out of their purchase, such as sunroof, upgraded MCU, autopilot versions, upgraded seats, etc.? That could be a fun video. We can start planning for that one. That's probably going to take a lot of planning because we're going to have to go through that. But yeah, I think that'd be a good one, especially with the used market uh, so hot. Yeah. Great idea. Thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, I do appreciate that. Um, let's see. Tozo Tube was answering Pierre that he has a Model S plaid, red, carbon fiber, black and tear, arachnid wheels, and FSD. So that's what he's getting. Um, let's see. Brandon said, thanks for the advice. Just figured that the FSD computer would make things like smart summon better since it's faster. Uh, that was my only reasoning for upgrading to the FSD computer from 2.5. Um... Would it make it? I honestly don't know. It's, I mean, it is Maybe a little computer, better. but it's, yeah. yeah, but it's just like, you know, we don't really regularly use smart. So, I mean, it's one of those kind of like Elon's even said it's a party trick. We've used it a couple of yeah. times, but I, I just saw another, somebody had an accident with theirs last week where they were trying to do smart summon and they, it went right into a tree and caused several thousand or <clears> dollars <throat> worth of damage. And it was a tree that was only like probably three inches diameter, but it, it caused a lot of damage. So until smart summon and those other features are like out of beta and, and foolproof uh, and perfect, I probably wouldn't uh, upgrade those yet. Yeah. Um, let's see. Chris Tech said, I'm actually more excited for the climate controls on the rear display and the SNX rather than yeah. the entertainment because it's easier for rear passengers to get to their climate. I heard that the yeah, latest that the latest software update, too, that we were talking about earlier did add some. So I heard that uh, they've improved the controls there. Because nice. before okay. it was kind of just still kind of a dual zone, but right. it was supposed to be tri-zone. It sounds like that's in the latest software update. Nice. Love it. Um, Matt, uh, who got the Taycan, said, I was locked into the 10K previous price, too. Still am. But I drove a Taycan and love it every time. Charging for me has been flawless, but I can imagine just one bad session could be rough. Yeah. Um, since you still have your uh, Model S reservation in, what are you thinking? Curious. Yeah. Interested to know. Uh, Ford Guys videos said, uh, why do people avoid Tesla's... By not buying electric vehicles over gas, which is better? I don't know. It's it's. I think anybody who has tried Tesla yeah. or EVs see that they're definitely uh, good vehicles. I can remember, like, even I had some family members years ago that were making fun of e Teslas and electric vehicles because in some, some games they were, you know, back in the day, EVs only got, like, 30 miles of range or 80 miles of range. And yeah. so it wasn't... Uh, necessarily a good replacement. It, you could use it for around town, but not for you know road trips and driving everywhere. It wasn't a, the only car you could own. And Tesla's you know come out with these 300, 400 mile ranges. It definitely shows that you can replace gas cars. And and we haven't had gas cars since uh, end of 2017. So 
Yup. Um, let's see. Matt, thank you for messaging me. I just saw it come through. I will be sure to respond after the live stream. Thank you. Um, very excited to hear more about your Taycan experience. Uh, Peter said, is the white interior better than black? Again, huge personal preference. Yeah. We have absolutely loved our white interior and haven't had any issues with it. It just makes the car feel much more roomy. And I think I love the white interior so much because no one else really does it. And it looks different. It just looks so clean. It just looks sleek. I I personally like the yeah. white interior better than black. We've had several vehicles with the black interior, but yeah. I think all of those were because they didn't have the white interior available and we needed the car because we had the like the standard range model uh three and i think even the, the y the the y the the first y that we had i think even the the all-wheel drive three had was that black too i, I think, think it, it was actually black. so we've no, had at least three vehicles and it's still nice the nice thing though uh, way back when i had my first car it was a black car with a black interior but the air conditioning did not work well and i lived in really hot it was in yeah. kansas and and I would, I swore I would never have, you know, a black interior again. But the nice thing about with a Tesla is you can precondition the car, you can cool it off remotely, and so you don't really have to worry about that. But also with the uh, like temperature overheat protection, the car never gets that hot if you have that turned on. So black interior is not as bad as it was in the olden days. Yeah, the olden days. The olden days, like ten years ago. Yeah. <laughs> um. <clears throat> but it is very much a personal opinion on what color interior you want. Um, let's see. Um, Ford guys said, is Tesla ever going to have full autonomous driving? Well, I think Hopefully. August 19th, we'll get a good sneak peek into that with AI Day. Um, and maybe see some other fun examples. They said they will have Tesla Model S Plaid vehicles for test rides. Mm. So perhaps we'll see kind of like their future gen that's not obviously out for most people, but kind of where they're planning on going. Hopefully we'll get there, because I mean, it's, it's come a long way since 2016 Very long when way. they came out with Autopilot 2, and you know, the first cars didn't have really any full self-driving, or any uh, self-driving functionality, <clears throat> but over 2017, 2018, it just continued to get better and better, and it's still great, like whenever we use like Navigate Autopilot or just Auto Steer on highways, you can put the car on <clears throat> Auto Steer and it will, you still have to pay attention, but it, it's nice to uh, have it do the steering and auto lane changes for you. Definitely. So it'd be nice though if you can do that all the time and not have to pay attention. So hopefully we'll get there one day. Yep. Uh, Matt said, going to keep his reservation for now because it's 10K below, could potentially flip it, but honestly, now that I've had this, it's really hard to justify all the money for a bit more acceleration. That's awesome to hear that you are really happy with it. Uh, I'll definitely message you because I'm, I'm excited to hear more about it. And see some photos. Feel free to message me all the photos of it that you want. <laughs> um, uh, Pierre said, should have just ordered the Model S Plaid with 21-inch rims. Probably would have my car by now. Going yeah. on eight months of waiting. We did hear like a lot, relate. Of, a lot of people back at the end of, was the end of June or July? June. June, yeah. A lot of people back in June, uh, like midway through June, were changing their 19-inch wheels over to 21, and they were able to get in that, you know, into a quarter rush, and they were able to get their car sooner. We did that with our long range, but unfortunately, we didn't do it soon enough. And, and, and now so, the price has increased. Yeah. So, so we're, we're locked in, but we didn't get the car. But now yeah. it's like, yeah, we could have probably just stuck with the 19s and, and gotten it about the same time, but oh well. Yeah. Uh, we're planning on doing aftermarket rims anyway, so no big deal. Yeah. Uh, Diego said, new Lucid store just opened at the mall here in Scottsdale. Curious to check it out. I'll get some job applications. Oh, cool. Hit us up. Send yeah. some highway, please. <laughs> I'm going to look and see. They probably have a store in Colorado, yeah. so we should check that out. Um, quick Ice Car Review said, yeah, just loaded you on my 65-inch so we can watch while I clean. Oh, nice. nice. Hopefully you got like, at least 1080 or better on your... Uh... Yeah. Um, Chris Tech and said, very cute dogs, by the way. Thank you. And Benny Player One said hashtag dog cam. So here we go. Yeah. This Layden. is Layden. She's very tired because she just ate dinner. Yeah. Um, oh, I said the D word, so is, she kind of perked up a bit. Kit, Kit's probably in the other room, but yeah. he's all probably all stretched out because he gets hot. He runs really hot. So yeah, he's, he's laying outside. He just stretches out like that. And there's no room on this dog bed. So, yeah. But you guys are absolutely loving the dog cam. So I'm very happy that we were able to make that work. Um, let's see. Sean said, is there some... Is there any issue with the glare on the windows and the white interior? I've had light colors on my dash in the past and couldn't stand the windshield glare. Just curious how the Tesla white interior is. I don't have that, but I will say 
the dash trim, you could potentially see that that white yeah. part of the dash. But that is one thing that on our like on your Model Threes, uh, so you got the carbon fiber shell. Correct. Over, 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 so we put that across. Uh, the Y. On the Ys. Okay, you didn't have that on the three. Or did uh, we you had the we had the vinyl wrap on the okay. three, but yep. the Y has the hard shell, real carbon yeah. fiber. So we didn't have an issue with the white dash there, and. Uh, one of the so we don't really have a problem with glare, but I know that one problem we do have with glare is on the center screen, and we did notice that a little bit when we were in Iceland uh, a couple weeks back. What, yeah, uh, it's just because that did not have a screen protector on it, and there was well, it wasn't even that sunny most of the time we were there. There was just a glare, and that's why we always put like the Abstract Ocean's like matte screen protector on our uh, screen, just because it helps eliminate that glare. Hashtag sponsor. <laughs> um, yeah. Love Abstract Ocean products. They actually work, which we love. Um, Black House Brew said, do you recommend a bed for the Y? I just spent three days camping in it. Love it, but would love a custom bed to be better. Um, so I tested out the Tasmanian uh, bed for Model Y, and it actually was very nice. Unfortunately, we haven't been able to use it on any like overnight kind of camping things yet, but it is very... Yeah. What What's the word I'm looking for? Like plush. Um, I don't know. Uh, oh, it's got a we lot of do, give, which yeah, is nice. Yeah, we should nice. do a. I don't know if you ever did a video on that, but yeah, we should like. I take think it I out. did. Oh, you did? Yeah, I did. So, With yeah, that should, and a bunch of other products. We should take it out and and, and product test it some more. Yeah. Yo. Um. Let's see. Matt said, "So I have an existing Cross Turismo order too." Uh, with the chalk seats and stuff, but this Taycan was like eighty percent of my build minus the Cross Turismo. Is it Turismo or Turismo? Um, Either way. Uh, also, we'll keep an eye on Rivian for future. Yeah, Rivian's actually been, like, my next in line, probably, EV. I, we wanted, I'm yeah, very interested in Rivian. Unfortunately, we missed out on, the, like, the, the pre- whatever. The first the very, sale ones, yeah. So. Um, but Matt also went on to say, uh, but that's just the Taycan was meant to be sort of a test until the Cross Turismo came or whatever happens in the next year or two. Nice. Wait, Benny, Benny Player says the first model... Wait, first three Model Ys arrived Whoa. in Australia, so that'll be. Cool. Are they Tesla or were they private person imported? Hopefully, hopefully, since there's three of them, hopefully that means they're there yeah. for like the homogulation or whatever yep. it is, where they have to test them and and stuff. So hopefully, that's that's great news because we heard when we were in Iceland that they had somebody had imported one from like the United States and just because they were tired of waiting. So it's cool to see that they're finally making it Australia. Yeah, and, super uh, super exciting. Yeah. And and but I think too that that uh, China is going to be probably spinning up you know to, to do the right hand drive yeah so hopefully uh, they could supply the, the market there Greg with a five dollar super chat thank you Greg uh, mm. I'm going to throw that into Dogecoin <laughs> I appreciate oh, it's that Greg yeah. <laughs> look Greg we're, we, we got all our Doge here yeah we've got our Doges here <laughs> um, yeah um, thank you I really appreciate that Greg um, I think we're pretty much caught up, though. Yeah, I think we're caught Greg up. Greg came in at the very end. He missed the exciting uh, two and a half hours. So. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it has been two hours and 27 minutes. Wow, yeah. that actually kind of flew by. How did you guys like, like, the 5.30 time? I kind of like that a little bit better. And as long as I'm not working on the weekend, we could do, like, some earlier times. So maybe we'll do, like, a 5, 5.30 next week. Um, we got to kind of see how the week looks. We should have a, at least one, sorry, two more vlogs from Iceland going up. Uh, another video and maybe some other things going on too. Might be a busy week. Yeah. Um, which it's about time we start really getting busy and getting everything going. Um, so, uh, hold on tight. Should be fun. We'll have one vlog of the last of our trip and then the volcano is going to be its own vlog, a separate one. So that'll be kind of fun. How about the little map thing? Is that going to be on that or is it going to be on Instagram or where are you going to do that? I don't know yet. So, so maybe there'll be like an, a surprise fourth video of Iceland. Just a really quick one, like um, a summary. We'll have to see kind of how everything... A slideshow uh, or something like that. Just yeah. yeah. We'll see how everything kind of works out. But um, should be fun. It should be a busy week, which is great. We love that. Um, let me see. A couple other questions just came in. Um, Sharp said, just took delivery of a new electric motorcycle, the Vectrix VX1. It's the Tesla motor... Or it was the Tesla motorcycles back in the day. Compliments the Model Y. I have been very fascinated with the electric motorcycles, but I am very scared of motorcycles. It is a good fear, but it's 
Colorado roads are not that great, and I've seen a lot of drivers cut off bikes and everything, and I don't want to be one of those people. So just make sure you're careful riding it. <laughs> um, but awesome to hear. If you have any pictures of it, tweet me or tag me in a Twitter post or something. I'd love to see it. Black House said an ice car was blocking one supercharger today, and the line was 30 minutes long. Yikes. I tried calling Tesla, the hotel owner, but no luck. I called the police. They came and gave it a ticket. No uh-huh. tow. I mean, at least they gave it a ticket, but the no tow is kind of lame. They should have yeah. towed it. Depending on the state and the laws, they can they can sometimes tow them. But at least they got a ticket, so hopefully that teaches them not to block that. Some of the spaces are still shared, but hopefully that was... It sounds like that was one that shouldn't have been parked in. Yo. Um, so, uh, I'm bored 200 said, did we do a solar... Sorry, Mark. Uh, did we do a solar panel update this week? Yes, we actually hit our 100% offset. Um, we oh. tweeted about it and even Elon liked the post and it kind of blew up like yeah. crazy. But basically we hit over seven, we're over like 73 megawatt hours since in the last three years. And we've, we've generated more than the household had used over the last three years. And for the past week, we've generated 702. So the, the average has gone down, but we're still averaging about a hundred kilowatt hours a day. And that's even with all the smoke and stuff from the fires. Yep. But yeah, um, huge thanks to everyone for the super chats. Always appreciate you guys. Definitely not required, but really do appreciate it. Um, thanks to everyone for hanging out. Uh, really appreciate all the great comments. Everyone, thanking, uh, thank you for helping answer some questions too. Really do appreciate that. But awesome. I guess we'll go ahead and end it here. Huge thanks to our channel sponsor, though, Abstract Ocean, if you're looking at two accessories and model SX3 or Y. Definitely check them out. I'll link to down below and using code Tesla inventory will get you 15% up of your first purchase. They really help make all this possible. So we can't help thank them enough. And, um, yeah, keep an eye on the channel. Make sure that you are subscribed with the bell on because you never know when something exciting Hopefully, might happen. I think this is the month, February or not February. Wow. That's bad. Oh my God. August. February. Uh, oh. I've been, we've been saying that since February <laughs> that we've been waiting for delivery. So yeah. hopefully August is the month. So definitely yes. stay tuned in because we are going to have some live videos once we do take delivery. Yeah. So, um, strap in, it's going to be a fun month and we'll see you all some videos this week and live again next week. Bye.